everyone, welcome. It is Stratford, Connecticut. It is WPIG 1651, ready to bring you the hottest hits of today, yesterday, and tomorrow here. And I'm, again, Chu, producer Chu is gone. However, I have, the studio is not empty. Again, I have brought two legends with me from many different fields. They're known for in so many different ways. I'll start with the producer, uh, heavily, heavily invested in, in WPIG success, and I'm invested in his success as well. Over there in Snort Wave Records, we have the one, the only, the Meerkat. How are you feeling, my friend? Oh, I'm feeling great. I'm ready to dive in to the Dead Sea in a very airtight submarine, and hopefully it's going to go well, unlike oh, that other one. <laughs> definitely. We've made sure it's, uh, it's, it's graded for about 1,000 feet deep, so we should be fine here going to the Titanic. No problem there. Next up is the logical style, cerebral style, everything style host that joins me from time to time here in the Dead Sea Scrolls goes by the name of Steve. How are you feeling, Steve? I saw that ALT inside, Rich. <laughs> I, I saw, saw that too. That. I, I've done it, ignore it for as long as we can. I believe this is the same. Minutes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sync up an apology and email it to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to give it a chance. Okay, wait, we're going to stop the stream. Tell me, tell me, what are you thinking with that? You think that's funny? You think that's funny? No, just kidding. That's Why are you cool. laughing? Why are you laughing? No, seriously. seriously. Why are you, Why laughing? you laughing? Business style announcements to get him out of the way quick. This is day 21 of the summer of too much ALT. That's 21 days in a row I've been on some kind of stream. Uh, so I hope you're enjoying it. 21 days here. There's seven days left officially. I'm not going to go two whole fucking months when Chew's gone. That's, that's kind of crazy. But we're going to go for one more week at least. So hopefully tomorrow we're going to do Flare Up with new songs. Hopefully the My Chemical Romance song will be done. We'll see about that. But anyways, um, that being said, of course, we'll be back this week, Wednesday or Thursday. I forget what's... Uh, oh, fuck. Do you guys remember the schedule for Fred Meyer this week? Wednesday this week. Nah. Okay, we Whenever he's off, girl. we're on. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah wait. It's easy. Whenever we're off, we're back, and then we're back in full swing. Though this is kind of pretty much full, spring, full swing, except Sam's on vacation still. So, uh, But anyways, uh, obviously, if you first one here, you won't know what I'm talking about. But if for those that are regulars here, you know, pools are, are available. Visions are available. They cost gout crystals. Explanations down below. I do owe someone a Genovision, so we're going to start in Genovision. This is for you, uh, whoever did that Genovision when they shouldn't have. Almost snuck and, and got it early, but uh, I, I trapped you. But here's, here I is Genovision no for that legend who earned it and bought it. And this is Genovision. And I got to hide Meerkat's uh, studio here. Studio pick. One second. That's not a disaster. If I hear it, you're banned. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're good. We are good. Make sure Meerkat's here. Okay, all right, so we're going to start today. Today's Dent C Scrolls is a little bit different than normal. We're not going to a forum. We're not going to uh, a AOL news group like we often do. We're going to a website, a website known as tophaters.com. And tophaters.com uh, has a lot of, I mean, the genesis of it, I'm not sure. He just wanted to have a place of hate. Uh, but we're going to work our way through this one. And of course, boys, if you ever have thoughts, please share. Mirka, I know you went through a little bit of this, but you didn't go through the whole thing, right? Back in that stream. I think it was last year now, right? Yeah, I, I got a, a general impression of what it was supposed to be like, which is basically uh, a website for somebody who peaked in high school, but their web development skills peaked in kindergarten. <laughs> so that's that's basically what you supposed to expect from this it's okay. it's just him at his edgiest and he just wanted to shit on everybody and that's why he's the top hater great guys great, great guys i am amazed this existed because he doesn't know about notepad.txt but this is the most <laughs> notepad <laughs> html design yes you know? uh this is definitely now we should give some credit like i i, I hesitate I'm, to give I'm credit impressed. yes just, like aren't you a little one. bit I'm impressed like, yeah your browser can handle tables <laughs> like back in the day, this was, it, making a website was not what it was. It, it is now. It's not like pull up WordPress and you're fucking done. It's like it takes no. effort and work. And he put at least that in back now. Uh, we can email DSP. The email here is darksidephil at hotmail.com. Already his email is darksidephil at hotmail.com. Uh, so that still works. Uh, the first thing we get here is a disclaimer, uh, which it's entitled disclaimer. I'm just going to read it here. It's uh, why we hate. So it's apparently a team here of why we hate. And uh, the, the, the thing here is, I'll tell you why we hate. Plain and simple. In today's society, people are too politically correct. They're afraid to say what's on their mind, to push the envelope, to be themselves and let it all out. 
We at TopHaters.com are not afraid. On this website, you're going to find nasty parodies. You're going to find mean and degrading <laughs> criticism of people that you probably <laughs> respect. <laughs> Fucking you're answer for your crimes, this <laughs> gun. And you're going to find wacky pranks and crazy jokes that push the envelope perhaps a little too far. But that's Why what we're all about. Why the envelope in, like, hyphens twice? Well, <laughs> well, well, you know, who knows? She's so I wonder wait, what... Quote mark, sorry. No. Yeah, yeah, quote it's mark, it's because I keep seeing top hyphen haters. I can't I... see top haters. I see top hyphen haters. Yeah, I'm not really sure <laughs> so, about what mm. that means. But push the envelope. We're going to do that. Perhaps a little Should bit too far. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe this is where Derek it picked it up. <laughs> push the envelope. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what we're that's what we're uh, he's uh, i want to emphasize this part you know we always say he says we to for that cult kind of mentality mm -hmm. he's already using it here and he has no you know mm -hmm. he's already using we so maybe that's just what he thinks you need to use in these kind of social situations because look damn it's already here we 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 uh no one is safe from our hate just keep in mind it's all about having a sense of humor and not taking shit talking seriously this is his I, I, don't beat my ass I, disclaimer. I guess the, yeah, yeah. the we is him hoping to kind of uh, make some community out of this, but it didn't stick and nobody really was buying into it. Or maybe because it was just him. <laughs> but he's talking like we like there's somebody else in there in the top haters, but it's just him. <laughs> You're damn right. Pass it around. Big up says love this site. It's just a cap copy of Maddox's site. and. Maybe that is true. You're going to get a free pull now. Enjoy your free pull, Pastor Mo. Good luck with that. We're still waiting for our first token here, uh, but that should come up shortly. Uh, let's move on, though. We finished the disclaimer. Let's move on to the main, uh, which uh, these links, uh, according to Wayback Machine, is helping us out a bit of big time here. They, they do work. Yes, they do work. Uh, I don't and, want to spoil this, but please yes. tell me there are some images for that webcomic. Um, we did, like yes, there are. Yes, screaming. there are. Yes, there are. Yes, there are. We get oh, to see art side Phil. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so don't worry about just, that. Just be careful. Uh, I've heard on one of the pages there's a BBC. Uh, just, yes, like, I have that. I have that. I found. Right I have that found, <laughs> and I have it. Go. Here's our first pull of the night, day boys. I'll keep it updated on what it is. Here we go. This is for, of course, our first contribution here from Past the Remote. Good luck to you. We get a Mark Henry. Not the best, not the uh, worst though. Mark Henry's a legend back in the day. Uh, speaking of BBC, speaking of BBC, Mark Henry. Yeah. <laughs> speaking of BBC, Mark Henry was a good pull. Uh, anyways, go ahead, Steve. <laughs> <what you're saying. laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> yes, go ahead, Steve. What's your question? <laughs> no, I don't matter now. I can't. Okay, I mean, it's not okay, okay, that, great. So fucking move on. Yes. <laughs> yes, there is definitely a link to a BBC picture uh, that I will send to you boys in the Discord if you'd like. It's a very, uh, it, it's it's something. But anyway, so the first main when you get to the main page in November two thousand eight to two thousand three, ah uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of year. It's precisely two fifty six on the East Coast, and I'm awake. Sadly, why you asked? Well, because today is Black Friday. Uh, I'm not going to read all this, but I'll read the first paragraph. Uh, for those of you too dense... Oh, we got another poll here, boys. Let's see what it is. <laughs> I might have to turn him off if it stops us too much. We'll see, though. Good poll coming in hot here. This is going to be... Chad Gable, not BBC. Uh, for those of you not uh, too dense to understand what Black Friday is, allow me to explain. It's the single busiest shopping day of the entire year, right? And since I work at listen, Circuit City... <laughs> I have been <laughs> scheduled from 5.30 a.m. to motherfucking 11 p.m. today. All because of you, Tards. Fuck. <laughs> tards. Stop being Tards. <laughs> Why is it your fault? It's pretty simple. Year after year, thousands upon thousands of idiots line up outside of retail stores <laughs> all over the country at 5 a.m. the day after Thanksgiving. <laughs> We're talking people who normally complain when they have to go to work at 8.30 a.m. every morning, as long as they get some physical, superficial belonging out of the deal, they're willing to get up before the goddamn sun comes up. Sun with the S-O-N. Oh, yeah, oh my God. Know. Mr. Consumer. <laughs> <laughs> the goddamn sun comes up. Don't want but to if, wake up Jasper. That's what that's about. <laughs> yeah. But if it's for work or, God forbid, something productive, 
They'll bitch and whine and complain about how they went out till 3 a.m. last night. And it's all bullshit. They have to get up so early. If people just grow a brain and realize that Black Friday is the biggest marketing ploy of all time, Red Fox. In red. In red. Yeah. <laughs> then maybe Serious we could shit. cut the BS. And I could not have to work 17 hours today. <laughs> so it's all about him in the end. I don't want to work this long and it's your fault. So please stop being assholes. Uh, okay. Here we go. Oh, God. We have a breaking news. We're going to reveal the truth about Black Friday. There we go. Oh, shit. Uh, that's right. There's a catch to the, all the merry mayhem, the fighting, the in-store brawls that will occur today. If you think you were heading out to get a deal, you were wrong. Let's start out with something I know a lot about. Turkey City products. Okay. That is something he knows a lot about. Take this one, for example. Today only. Western 200 gigabyte internal hard drive. All right, cool. Uh, ba 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 ba. He's saying it mail. These are the thing where if you buy for 250, you get a mail in rebate. So you just mail it in, you get the money back. Wow, you got a 200 hard, 200 gigabyte hard drive for 100 dollars. Amazing, what a deal! Wrong. If you could please open your eyes for a few goddamn seconds, you would realize just how stupid you are. <laughs> Who is this hating? I mean, it seems like it's hating his readers, but all right. Uh, first and You're foremost, just explaining what a rebate is. Yeah, yeah, this is like, yeah that's exactly what it is. You pay <laughs> it now, and then you get a cash back. Yeah, fuck this. I'm not reading this. So, okay, the, the in order to <laughs> understand Black Friday, you have to understand the history of corporate yeah. uh, capitalism in America. So. <laughs> Look at this next line. So, okay, the rebate thing is acceptable. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> Why'd you start with that as your argument? Then, okay, the thing I just said, that's cool. Now here's the real kicker that I'm sure all of you will love. The store only has five of these in stock. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, gents. So it's say that it only has five of these babies in store. It's predominantly displayed all over the web in the paper ad on the website, but there's no way that everyone who goes to Circuit City is going to get one. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Ad we can't see. Oh, how long does this go? Oh, here's the catch. None of these items can be found at the best spy. Coming motherfucking soon. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is all about, like, I'm, I'm out. This is all about Black Friday. Who gives a shit? Anything cool here? Uh, that's right, ladies and gents. For the first time ever, <laughs> TH.com. He loves ladies and gents. Uh, TH.com is holding contents for our readers. Send in some interesting pictures from your Black Friday experiences today. Juicy stuff, like people fighting over items. People getting knocked on their asses. Or shelves totally empty at 6 or 3 a.m. These The pics will be posted on the, on the here in a future article. And the one lucky person who I choose sends in the best shot. And the one lucky person who I choose sends in the best shot will receive something very, very nice. <laughs> Great fall. <laughs> very, <laughs> very nice. And this wrong grammar of the we ass. This? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's send some pictures. Circuit City uh, competition. Uh, but that's it. This is just is a post about... This is the first post on the website. This is the main kind of... You go to the site. This is what you see. This is the first one. Let's see if there's any archive news for us. Um, yes, there is. Something over. Uh, this is about Mr. AKA, Mr. Jason Wilson's Xbox Live Tournament. Due to the request of Mr. Wizard, I will now post an update on the controversial ending to Jason Wilson's Xbox Live C C CVS 2 Tournament. And that is... Oh, thank God. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're going to get this. Here's the update. <laughs> Here, so you see this like long black space here. I did not put that there. Yeah, he was fired from C Circuit City after this point i don't think it's because of this post but after this point yes uh do you nobody think, do you think that <laughs> yes. might have been the like like him trying to to get people to scroll like like they're, they're there in anticipation you know because on older <laughs> monitors lower resolution not as yeah. much screen space this yeah. is a genius move from our boy yes he no, understands marketing perfectly you know, yep you know as as we scroll down hype, we see attention. nobody cares Xbox Live is laggy crap that does not even matter. Anybody who cares about the outcome of the Xbox Live tournament needs a life. Especially people <laughs> who make accusations without any proof. The outcome of the Xbox Live tournament is pointless, and therefore it is futile to argue about rankings because nobody cares. I could give a shit if it's the top five used the Game Genie to win and had Sagat flying across the screen like Superman, busting out tenant Jimmy Tap nut punch combos. Like, like, a, he like, like, like he did. What's like like he did at Evo? I'll ask fighting people. What's a Jimmy Nut? Jimmy Tap Nut Punch Combo? Jimmy what is that Tap even? Nut. <laughs> That's a rare. And I don't that, care. Let's give that to rare. Jimmy that 
the yeah. Twitter account like rare insults. I think this might be the rarest. I don't want those Jimmy Tap nut punch combos anymore. All right, that's a rare insult. It sounds you like every day. sounds like something you could order at like a diner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> number 24 some jimmy tap no punch combos <laughs> the diet coke just let it die but, that is all go ahead meerkat if i gotta be honest i like the this dsp way more than the one that we got nowadays oh yeah. this guy yeah like he's full of shit but at least he he talks all that trash he talks yeah. trash he got balls to talk trash even though when when they encountered him in real life he told them that he was like a uh, alcoholic and he tried he, he cried he's yes. much better than the guy we get nowadays that just says everything is his opinion and it's fine if you disagree and he pretends to be super personable so i'm i'm all on board with hater phil i want that guy back <laughs> this, is, this is the dsp that dsp wanted to be because he's behind the sort of like shield of his control over this website you know, yes he's agree. Him elite, elite coding skills so he's <laughs> he feels like emboldened to, to speak his mind this is what he wanted to be in his head he was this yes you know? yeah and he thought he was a big deal uh, as we saw this is mm. the, this is after remember if, you, if you're a regular density scroll reader or watcher you know this is after those forums we showed so this is all after that mm. so it's the the next evolution of that like i think the forums gave him the power like <laughs> oh shit i can talk i can talk pretty good on these things man people care what i have to say and then he's like all right, i gotta make a website yeah. pokemon nobody pressed b <laughs> <laughs> so we carried on and yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I would also say he was watching a lot of wrestling back then so he wanted to cut even more promos he was like inspired <laughs> oh my god mate yeah. <laughs> mate some of those posts yeah. promo written all over them exactly yeah. Cyra it sounds like Cyrax Jesus. like modern Cyrax yeah. coming out <laughs> <laughs> it's like exactly yeah. like you know what who they were waiting for our fable match and who who do they think would win oh, I need, yeah. remember that one like oh dude dude Mirka you missed the best one the dude he was fighting us okay, okay we're waiting for our fable match and then well I already told you about it but there's he's fighting this big player he's like I Arturo, Artu, uh, what's his name? Ricky Arturo. God, I can't remember the fucking name. Arturo, like whatever. Asian or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arturo yeah. talked to the guy, and he's and the, the opponent of Phil. And Phil's like, I think that that last minute uh, pep talk gave him all the encouragement he needed to take me out. Like it's fucking anime, <laughs> <laughs> bro. It's anime. He gave him all uh. the encouragement he needed to take me down. All right. Anyways, let's keep going. So Chinatown <laughs> Fair. I would love Just to see for, Chinatown uh, Fair. Yeah, go ahead. Oh. About his uh, web development skills, all this side that you see is just basic HTML and a little bit of CSS mm -hmm. just to make the the fonts different cool. colors. Yeah, because it's all yeah. just like headings and text, and it's all justified like aligned in the middle. So really, <laughs> I I gotta give him credit for making it a reality, as in actually having a know. website. Oh, but yes. as yeah. as far I as the skills go, feel. I'm not giving him any credit. It's, it's trash. Yes, yes. I've seen, from, from I've seen live journals. You know, I've seen live <laughs> journals look better with better HTML. You know. Oh yeah. There's, there's, it's, yeah, it's it's peak fill in it then because it's trying to do it, but in like the laziest, easiest way possible. You're not learning anything other than like your basic layout, basic fonts, everything centered. You know. Yeah. There's, there's, there's nothing. I'm surprised he did it. I mean, I guess he loves trash talking online that much that it made him do it. He wanted to be the website for all the fucking people mm -hmm. out there. But uh, the Chinatown Fair videos of these, oh, I'll check it. I checked these before, but they yeah, are down. Uh, so oh. unfortunately, these are down. No videos here. Some of these are on on YouTube though. We can check those out one day. We'll go do a full yeah, I was, of YouTube. I was stuff, wondering. But... I wonder if like some is still available on his the, web, the, on his channel because he doesn't bad, delete shit. Yeah, the bad bro. part of that is though, a lot of those videos back then were just literally the screen and it's like yeah. DSP versus Valle. It's like, oh shit, this should be hype. But if you can't see who they are, it's kind of like not yeah, that yeah, hype, yeah. right? Like I, I, I know yeah. it's cool, but it's not that cool. Um, Here's a few stills. Unfortunately, all these pictures are done. Um, so this one is one we're definitely going to cover on a future to say you don't, uh, to say you don't play. De Den C Scrolls. Uh, top haters versus the empire. There's a huge drama. Oh, the, the, this the, sounds like yeah. a hell of a rivalry. <laughs> the two yeah. hottest factions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they really get in the title push. Uh, empire yeah. was led by <laughs> Triforce, uh, who is the ga a gaming fighting game group leader who had a big thing with Phil, big big beef with Phil back in the day. Uh, and we've played a video of of Empire before on this channel. Uh, they actually got covered by fucking what's that? Video game channel that got shut down again. They came back. 
Uh, Ses Adam Sessler. Fuck. G4? No, not G4? G. Yeah, I think it was G4. G4, G4. 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 Yeah, G4 TV? Yeah, G4 TV. He was, the Empire was featured on G4 TV. Uh, so, yeah, they were a pretty big deal. But Phil, of course, said, like, what's the point of a group? Like, I don't even know what it is. But um, let's read. So let's read this. I, I love Phil's tournament reports. They're some of my favorite oh. of, in the universe. So I am reading this one. Uh, For the second time in a year, I've beaten the Empire at their own game. And hopefully I've earned some well-earned respect in the community. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he starts. Already starts. <laughs> Hopefully, I've earned myself some well earned respect in the community. If you guys don't know, I'm respected. Okay? <laughs> the self called for respect. <laughs> How did it all we start? Have had so much of that over the last <laughs> few streams. Dude. That is amazing. Unfortunately, this thread uh, is. Let's see what this thread is. Okay, okay, okay. Um, this thread has a lot of fucking posts, so we're not going to go through all of this, but let me see real quick. Blaze ask um, uh, I'm, I'm looking here, trying to trying to keep not dead air here, but I'll make sure it's like... I think Phil's going to recap it. In yeah, yeah, let's just fuck it. I'll story. check it. Yeah, Don't yeah. worry, I'll check it. I'll check it and see if it's for if a different episode. Anything. But yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's the thread that started it. Uh, titled Blaze Asked Some, Up and Comers 2004. Blaze and Flo decided to make a list of players he decided would be the up and coming Marvelous Capcom 2 players for the new year. And it just so happens that a few of those players, namely Javier Chameleon and Mike Infinite from NYC, I've beaten before in tournaments. And I'm going to read Watson. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Is it? I don't think. Wa I think Watson's West Coast, though. So I don't think that would be him. But uh, he's in the West Coast group, I believe. Uh, I'm gonna read it as he says. So all the grammar mistakes are from Phil's writing. So that's again, Phil. Usually he's pretty good on those forum <laughs> posts, but not here. Uh, I've beaten before in tournament, and also recently in several games on a side bet at the break. So I brought it upon myself to ask Blaze and Flow why he mentions these players that I've beaten before, giving them respect <laughs> and name drops. <laughs> Nobody gives me respect. <laughs> yes, yes. That's why we're here. That's why we're here right there. <laughs> oh, bro, this is this is why um uh, I like saying that he lives in a in a hell of his own making. It's his own personal hell. Because ever since like you know those days, like 2004, all he wanted to do is just get respect and people to take him seriously. And yeah. he's got to a point nowadays where it's like. He's literally known for the opposite of that. The guy you can never take seriously. Yeah. If you if you take him seriously, the joke is on you. Ridiculous. Dude, dude, yeah, he, this is like full on Karen's eyed pill because he has gone straight to the manager. He yes. went to the guy who wrote the list to yeah, say like, why I'm yeah, yeah. Let's not forget about the actions. That, yeah, good point, Steve. Let's look at the actions that took place here. Blaze and Flow writes an article, whatever the fuck, whatever he wants to write on the fucking forum. Here's what I think of the up and coming players. Then Phil walk, goes to Blaze and Flow. Excuse me, Bla Sir Blaze and Flow. Uh, <laughs> I see you didn't mention me in your article. I, I'm just a little TO'd right now. Uh, could you maybe give some reasons for that? You know, like just a like crying <laughs> baby, dude. <laughs> it's like anyway. Sweet Ian Burger King. It's like tweeting Burger King for your apology. Oh, it doesn't stop, boys. Indeed, whenever anyone <laughs> mentions top players on the East Coast, my name never really comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> my name never really comes to mind. <laughs> God I'm sure it. that's still true today. Yeah. <laughs> Despite the fact that I've beaten some of the best there is in tournament, including Josh Wong, Javier, Brahe Brahim Keys, Julian Robinson, Josh Wigfall, and several others that are all considered to be good players and respected on the East Coast as well as SRK. Maybe it's because I come from a state that was never good at anything. <laughs> this can't be serious. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm from a state that was never good at anything besides Marvel vs. Capcom 1. Oh, yes, it's a regional thing. Because <laughs> I did nothing wrong. Must be something else. <laughs> it must be the state. The state. Oh, the yeah. state. oh, Connecticut, the state. They suck at fighting games, dude. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Darby, Carried the fighting game community that's, that's on the That's a skill on right there. Back. Hey, Darby, good luck on your pool, man. And we'll get yours class mystery, too. Don't worry. 
Here we go. What's it gonna be? We're it's, looking for that Hogan. Yeah. Oh, it's the veteran. The veteran himself. Uh, what's his name? You can't see me. Blah, blah, blah. I can't. John Cena. John, John Cena. Cena. Yeah. John Cena veteran version. Yes. Cena. Funny this should come up today. On pre-stream today, he had a one-hour rant about Zelda and capped it off with, I want people to respect my opinion. Yep. It, it, nothing. Yeah. Ha that's what we learned the most from Dead Sea Scrolls. The personality he had in 1999 is the same personality he had in 2023. It's just, I, I guess not his personality, but... What he wants out of the world and what he wants to be seen by everyone is, is the same, right? He just wants to be respected. Yeah. And that's it. He just wants that respect. And, and that's the one thing he can't get. <laughs> isn't uh, what he thinks he deserves, isn't that more nowadays than it was back then? Because now he has like a, a massive career and he went through a period of being very successful. Yeah. So now like his expectations of what he deserves from people are much higher, I think. Yeah. yeah. I think the thing that stuck out for me through all this is how much of him currently is crystallized this early because you know like there's been times when we've been reading posts from like 16 to 17 year old phil and he's still just as like entitled and he has this whole maybe it's because of this maybe it's because of that is the whole you know you beat me by pixels my friend all this stuff that you could still see in phil to this day is is here and i'm amazed by how much of it is because I thought he's probably just going to be a bit cringe teenager, but no, yeah. there's so much of current yeah. Phil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's not amazing. It's not. Uh, this is Klaus Mystery. Here's your pool. Good luck, brother. <laughs> he said Klaus Mystery says main protagonist syndrome. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he acts like amazing, like an only child, really. But we know he's not officially That's the Viking stupid. for Klaus Klaus Mystery. Wow, there, unfortunate. So waste. waiting for a first oh, token. What a fucking waste. What a fucking waste. Viking Raiders. Uh, let's keep moving here. Um, so, uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Okay. Uh, maybe it's because I come from the state. Maybe it's because I don't hang with the CTF or Philly or Jersey crews that are more mainstream. Yeah, maybe, maybe you just haven't heard of me. You know, I'm a bit <laughs> underground. Maybe it's because everyone hates me. That could be. <laughs> it was into me before you was popular. <laughs> maybe it's just because I talk a lot of shit and people don't like me. Because I have some fucking testicles between <laughs> my legs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The reason we hate Phil is those nasty testicles down there. Dangling for all of us to enjoy. <laughs> yes, Phil. That's the reason. Or maybe it's because Shady K beat me one game with Omega Red. Shady oh, K. There, oh, there yeah. you go. <clears throat> there you go. Right there. Right there. Burned. Yes. Ego burned. Ego I don't know moist. how I feel it's about it. It's the Wolverine. Yeah. I don't know how I feel. <laughs> the TikTok people shitting on him for being bad at Zelda. It's Shady K beat me in one game with him. He like, cannot let go of losses. Oh. That's for sure. No. Uh, and Shady K, we're going to do a deep dive one week too in future. This Shady K rivalry is something that wounded Phil very much. And it's still mm -hmm. here, as you can see. Maybe because Shady K beat me one game with Omega Red. Like, no one on Did Earth is thinking about it. <laughs> Shit, like, no one on Earth is thinking about Shady K. Oh, yeah. Shady K, by the way. Taco Chan's ex-boyfriend. Thank you so much, scientist. Oh, there you go. That was who Taco go. Chan liked when Phil mm -hmm. was, as Taco Chan was very respectfully, she said he was kind of, uh, you know, incessant. DSP was incessant with his kind of trying to mm -hmm. hit on her, even though DSP was in full knowledge that she liked Shady K. That is what Taco Chan told me directly. <laughs> Uh, but she didn't say it was that crazy. She said he was incessant. So there you it's go. No wonder he got Liana's phone number within like three messages. Oh yeah, we learned about that on Thursday. He, he, he Phil really would just like message me. It took like three days, and he asked for my email, and then he asked for my number. He escalated things so quickly. We could text, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, we're texting he, he didn't day. have he didn't have the the upper hand on the power dynamic with Liana because he was the successful YouTuber. And back yep. then in the FGC, he was just a bum that nobody liked. So it would be obviously <laughs> harder to get a girl. Yeah, but if you can imagine like he's this incessant with her, how he would be with Panda, with somebody who wasn't like the higher power dynamics, with somebody who he did have like power and influence over. Yeah. yeah. That, that, yeah, that, 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 that interview that was true. surprisingly re revealing. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, big ups to Spec, Van Kuchin, and Hate Army, by the way, they're reminding me, thank you, that Shady K is the person uh, that Phil, during the interview, was talking about the apologizing to people. Shady K was the person he was talking about there as well. Uh, oh. the one, yes, that's Shady K. It comes full oh, okay. circle. Shady K was mentioned wow. not in name, but in uh, in thinking during the interview. Yes, I want to apologize to some people in the FGC. I'm wronged. So that was it. Mm. <clears throat> 
Uh, um, there we also, go. Coyote Briggs, just quickly before we move on. Yep. Uh, I don't. She was very political about that. She gave a very um, diplomatic, sorry, not political. She gave a very diplomatic answer about, you know, uh, I'm younger than Phil, but I'm older than you. When yes. she was asked about her age. Oh, yes, yes, so, yes, yes, yes. That is yeah. very key to him, your cat. I don't know if you heard that. The wording of Panda used there was very, very interesting. Uh, mm. The Air Raid Lord, who was at 17 of this, uh, 17 years old at the time of the interview we played last week, and he asks, Air Raid Lord is a gem because Air Raid Lord has no social skills himself, so he'll just straight up fucking ask it. Like, so how old are you? You know, that kind of, he just like straight to mm. the fucking point. So he said, how old are you? And she kind of like, Takes a second and then says, uh, younger than Phil, older than you, right? Mm. So, like, she didn't want to mm. answer, answer, which I said when you're 18, when you're a fe- even if you're a, a, of the female style human, you're not really scared to share your age unless there's a reason yeah. to be scared about when sharing your age. When you're 18, that's when you start sharing your age, don't yeah, you? Yeah, oh, you love it. Like, yeah, I'm here. I'm allowed yeah. to be here. I'm an adult. I'm 18. Yeah. Yeah. But she knew to say, younger than Phil older than mm-hmm. you she knew to say yeah. that so that was pretty interesting uh but every lord shout outs to that guy <laughs> that is definitely very suspicious that's yes. very suspicious if nothing now else is suspicious think some some things but there's no like solid confirmation what time they started texting no that's one thing no, we'll never know nothing yeah okay. In, unless yeah. we ask her directly one day uh hopefully when she's 40 and she comes to us and says you know what i want to talk now that'd be pretty cool but we're never going to reach out to her no because this is this is the one thing that people are very split on if he groomed her or not, if she was of age mm. or not, and I would I would like to hear from her what time they started texting. Because that's that's yeah, pretty important. Too, yeah. But even that's though, uh, it uh, of course it matters if she was seventeen or eighteen. But if we have to get to those semantics, if she was seventeen and one day until she got eighteen, or she was eighteen and one day over eighteen, it's still kind of yeah. weird. Yeah. 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 Yes. You don't suddenly change in that two day period. Nothing sort yeah. of like magically happens to you, like cognitively, biologically, psychologically, you know, nothing changes. So you're still basically the same person you were. So that's where it's like, it's still questionable. Plus, again, he's got the power. He, he should know like what's appropriate with your audience and not. But yeah, that's a whole thing we can go down to. And it's yeah. viewing us away from this. I, I yeah, wonder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's Pick that's a different Ray episode. Lord. Yeah, Air Raid Lord for not having any social cues. He asked them very direct questions that definitely were interesting. <laughs> oh, it's Air Raid Lord, isn't it? It's not Air Raid Lord. It's oh yeah, Air Raid Lord. Air, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, he, spelled, he spelled it out to John. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, God. I, I I thought it was like the Area Lord. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Like but uh, I definitely I don't know anything about him. I'm I'm very curious to see. I want to have a a deep dive on on what yes. that guy was. That's all he's not around yeah. anymore, is he? Uh, no, he is not. There are a few that are is, but we're definitely gonna do a deep dive of of him one day. You you should come for that episode. We'll make another special for it because he has some. Yeah, he's um, full on, wasn't he? He's he full me. on. He went to I hate I I I love Phil. I follow him to the conventions, and then he went to I hate Phil because it doesn't invite me to stuff and. He has some, he, he's an interesting guy. Uh, but let's move on to, um, <clears throat> so, you know, it's a good, you know, you don't give a fuck when you write this many, this much about a, uh, a, a topic, yeah. but he, in red, about I don't give a fuck. don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you how much I don't give a fuck. It's going to take many, many pages. All I know <laughs> is you're all going to learn to respond. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Please, man. clearly, clearly. <laughs> Come on, man. Clearly for the show. <laughs> Please. <laughs> all I know is you're all going to learn to respect me or hate me. <laughs> God, damn, he's dude. talking about it like he's going to beat him with a belt. <laughs> <Fucking ridiculous. laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is 2003. Okay. 2003. Phil was born in 1982. All right. So we're 21. This is not a 13 year old kid to be in a, you know, we were all douchebags and we were in the te- mid teens, early teens, you know. Of course, we thought we were a little big for our britches and might talk shit like this, but come on, man. 2003. All right, let's keep moving. <laughs> God, you're going to learn to respect me or hate me. That is such a wrestling, you know, wrestling take, you know? I'm new yeah. to WWE. All I'm gonna know is out there, you gotta learn to respect me or hate me. That down to brant wow to you know, it's like exactly that. <laughs> this 
this might even be something that CM Punk has said at some point. Because I know DSP is a big fan of CM Punk. Because yeah. Punk's name is also Phil. Yeah. So that's a bond between two men. Uh, but it, that sounds a thousand percent like CM Punk. So let's keep moving. Uh, Javier and Infinite didn't like my mentioning that they lost to me on a few occasions. So they felt the need to talk shit. What, what was this? Could you, could you imagine at the event? Hey, guys, remember when you lost to me? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. So we had a little grudge match. I know match, why people I... keep talking about them. They've lost to me. I've beaten yeah. them. Yeah. And why are they up there when I'm not? I've beaten them before. So we had a little grudge match tonight. Me versus Infinite. First to 10 wins for 50 bucks. I mean, 50 bucks is a big deal, man. When you're working at Circuit yeah, yeah, City for... Then. A hundred, then, you know, that young. Yeah, yeah. yeah, when you're making, you know, 100 hours, at, let's say, whatever he's making, at maximum 80 hours a day, that's legit money. Uh, but the games went 1-1, 2-2, 3-3, 4-4, and then 5-5 tie. Then Infinite won four <laughs> straight, making the score 9-5. to five. Do you know what I'm thinking of now? I'm thinking of like his his recaps where he's like, as for the other matches, I don't know. I didn't really pay attention to them. (laughs) After like all the huge paragraphs. (laughs) Uh, So we had a little grudge match. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Then the score was 9 to 5. Okay, then I looked around. I saw Desmond, Matrix, TFGM, and others in the Empire all happy, coaching Infinite during the matches, talking about him beasting on me and blah, blah, blah. And that's when I snapped. <laughs> beast mode, boys. Beast mode. And that's uh, when I snapped. CM Spunk. Nice. Nice win. <laughs> CM Spunk. Well done. Brilliant. You're a legend. All right, here we go. So that that's when I snapped, and I won the grudge match ten to nine. That's pretty impressive. So he went back. Okay. Then I beat Matrix 5 2 for 25 bucks. So he's making some money. Good job. And then I played Desmond after 90 minutes of constant. Uh oh. Oh, there you <laughs> whatever, go. Whatever the excuses start it, it's a loss. So, yeah. And then <laughs> I and then I played Desmond after 90 minutes of constant play and over 25 straight games of high level <laughs> was yeah. Capcom 2 play and lost 3 to 5. Any of you that say my victories are a fluke. Any of, oh my, dude, this is wrestling. This is wrestling. Any of you that say my victories are a fluke. Any of you that say I'm a scrub and a lucky bastard. All of you who refuse to give me even a shred of credit for my skill. Despite the fact that I live in a state with next to no competition and no working or crane controls anywhere in sight. You can now all officially suck my dick. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what do you think about that, Steve? We got uh, CM Spunk dropping a, leaving a mark here in the Connecticut on this uh, Thursday night fights. So it's going to be an epic night tonight. <laughs> I like that. The next bit is for full tone of details. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. For full attorney details, please go here. <laughs> I'll put this. To, I'll make sure I save That's these. Skill right there. Bro, this is literally like the like the watermark that comes up on WWE that says you know like <laughs> WWE.com right at the end of the show. Literally, it's like the show goes off air. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's like Dolph Ziggler beg- begging to be taken seriously just before Goldberg comes out and like spears him five times. <laughs> Big ups down four punch says Busty Rhodes. Busty Rhodes. Yes, he's Busty Rhodes. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> good luck with your free pool. It should, it should come in a second. If it doesn't, I'll do it. Anyways. The penultimate warrior. And it- <laughs> yeah, penultimate warrior. And if you want to see some vids from the tournament, including match of the tournaments, but they're fucking awesome. They'll be up within a day. This is just the beginning. DSP. <laughs> All right, let's scroll down. Starting now, from this moment. This is the moment that just beginning right now. Look, <laughs> down forward punch, good luck. <laughs> we, uh, let's go to January 1st now. Oh, shit. Oh, this is interesting or not, we'll see. We got a oh, Hurt Business. Hey, you got that last style gentleman. That's nice. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, happy for happy fucking degree. New Year, dicks. Uh, blah blah blah. I'm planning on buying a DVD burner. I have a few questions, but I'll be. By the way, I'm using a lot of time to see out of a ramp. Circuit City is selling. Okay. Uh, whatever. 
this is kind of dumb. It's the second to last paragraph. Who's PP? Thanks, PP. Somebody sent him this. Apparently, oh, somebody somebody sent was him. Last night. Oh, thank yeah. you, thank you, so Steve, for translating. Is... Yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks, PP. Interesting choice in names. Oh, still keeps that uh thing up. You know, I get emails like this every once in a while, and it's nice to know that some people appreciate the yeah. time I put into getting an alternative it's, take. Yeah, <laughs> it's that last paragraph before the thanks, PP. Before I forget again, I just want to tell you that I got one hell of a, you got one hell of a sight there. Oh, it's great to have thank your you. kind of yeah. sight around, and I loved your take on the SRK elites regarding Evo 2K3. Got to thank you for that Daigo versus Ricky Ortiz match, but I'll still buy the DVD. Probably. There Thanks, we go. Thank PP. you, Steve. You're translating yeah, perfectly. Absolutely. That's why we got Steve here. Uh, so yeah, there we go. So this is now. As for the I'm burner, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Too long. <laughs> if you want to see the price is reasonable, I reckon. So this is like a personal email, like just on the site. I see. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, how long does Phil write? Okay, they talk about DVD writers. I'm not doing this. I'm not talking about DVD writers. So that like, it'll be the last paragraph then. <laughs> the, oh my also, god! Yeah, I did kick ass tonight. <laughs> he loved it so much. It's now the signature. You're either going to learn to respect me or learn to hate me. He changed it a little bit, <laughs> but now it's the signature. Yes, we are good. Please, please, the paragraph above. <laughs> I'm off again for now. By the way, it's now 2004. And for the first time ever, I made a New Year's resolution to concentrate and do extremely well this year at tournaments. <laughs> good. good. Can you imagine, Linda? I don't know oh. how I feel about it. Oh, no. I yeah, that's I feel. Good resolution, honey. Come here. They're Let's like get this hair. Still a mess. Yeah. <laughs> this, this Saturday is a big Marvel's Cat Cup 2 tournament at Chinatown Fair. People are going to be there to challenge me in grudge matches. So I encourage everyone who can make it to come down and watch the first step in retaking my dominating status in the street fighting world in 2004. The status I gave up after Marvel vs. Capcom won. This dude <laughs> thinks he is the best, the most important person <laughs> in the entire universe. Oh my god. I, I like never doubt, but... I'm going to retire because of his like, cushion. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, edge because of his neck. It's like, I'm going to have to give up my, my That's status. That's the skill right there. <laughs> the dom most dominating. In the street fire world. The doctors say I'm, I'm, I'm at risk of developing carpal tunnel. So <laughs> you have to step down, make way for the new generation. Big ups, too I, quick, L. I, I know this this kind of shit is like you know some some young adults and teenagers beefing with mm. each other, and then when when they have to pay off the beef, they just fight virtually. But he's taking it way too seriously, legitimately, <laughs> like to to the level where it's like wrestling stuff, yeah, and yeah. he's. He seems like he's really believing his own hype. It's crazy, man. What oh, absolutely. Fuck? Absolutely. He thinks this is real fucking life, man. He thinks this is real fucking life. <laughs> this uh, is to... when he's got no worldly experience, but he thinks he has. He still thinks he knows everything, but he's not got like the experience of, say, losing John and Howard, you know, or having to, yeah. you know, your machinima and all this. He's got nothing to make him bitter yet. This is just so full-on confident phil who's still like yeah i still know better than you even though i'm only 21 you know i still know better than you still get Just it. without all the burns of life that have made him the bitter insecure phil that we know now this is still his shit talking dsp oh, shit. like i <laughs> i am fucking king of the world <laughs> in connecticut street fighter and marvel vs. capcom world yeah he's gonna <laughs> teach you to like him or hate him god <laughs> yeah it's like gotta... some fucking roman reigns shit <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to respect me or hate me, but you will acknowledge me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Too quick says that being Sid Justice. There we go. That being Sid Justice. There, yeah, there you works. go. That works. That works. Oh, Sid fuck. One of us is going to break that leg, aren't they? Congrats on the Viking. Uh, there we go. In December 2003, uh, DSP and the rest of the top haters. <laughs> DSP and the rest of the top haters would like to wish you and yours a very happy Christmas. Try not to jerk off too much. One day, oh, uh, and Santa Claus is gay. Okay, thank you. Nuff said. Oh, pulling out the classic. Nuff said. This was his board DS sign off. DSP here on behalf of Top Haters. Yeah. This is wishing you I don't know happy how Christmas. I feel about it yet. Nuff said. See you in 2004. Okay, we're going reverse chronological order, but I don't care. Uh, super yeah. double, huge update. Uh, parts one and two of the most controversial mass from Evo 2003. Ricky Ortiz versus Daigo is up. Download fast. Yeah. Because this is a one-time only deal due to bandwidth limitations. Tell your friends now and pass it on. 
a few updates and a new hate oh article. Oh my god, oh my god, read the first couple of sentences. Okay, here we, go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're, we'll get there. Here we go. October 18th, 2003, a few random updates and a new hate article. Sup, haters. Back after totally... <laughs> oh my god. All right, sup, haters. Back after totally... Totally... Okay. Back after totally building myself a new computer, my shit is sick now. Too bad Bill Gates forgets to tell you you need to reinstall Windows every fucking time you switch your processor and or motherboard. Stupid bastard. <laughs> Could have saved me a few good hours. What the fuck? Someone send this to profit. Yeah, who says back after totally building myself a new computer like it's Valley Girl? Like, I know I do that voice on this joke, but that totally is. Back after totally building myself a new computer. What is that? But look, he, <laughs> he didn't install Windows after changing his fucking motherboard, and he's blaming Bill Gates for it. That should be automatic. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take some time to direct you guys to the baddest computer site on the net, TigerDirect.com. I got all the parts for my comp there, and I have no complaints. Price are very reasonable, too. Okay, whatever. Tiger Direct was, yeah, was good. Yeah, yeah. was good back in the day. I got my eyes on that Argus 5 point megapixel camera, digital camera, What's only $199. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Other games mm. being played. This is rare. He never talks about other games, but here we go. Mm. Anyway, since I've had my souped-up comp now, I've been playing all the latest games. I got Max Payne 2 the day it was released from Supernova.org. It's all right. Plot is long, convoluted, and nobody cares. But the gameplay is pretty decent, <laughs> albeit repetitive. And the <laughs> graphical ethics are fucking awesome. Most realistic looking game ever, hands down. If the game had a little more to do than just run in and shoot everyone while using bullet time, maybe that's just how you play it. Uh, but anyways, uh, it would probably have been a lot more replay like As it is, play it in 30 minute installments and you won't get bored. Thanks. King of retro. We've had we we've, we've had these exact same complaints about Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't change. It's been a long time since I wrote a new hate article. I bet some of you thought the King of Hate was getting soft. Well, fuck you in the ass. You're all wrong. Inspired by my buddy Law, <laughs> Top Hate proud presents the nerds, the fags, and the ugly. Mostly the ugly. Whoa. Please work. Ooh. Please. Yes, it works. No, this okay. is the, the hot cosplay oh, article. No. This is okay. going to be good. Okay, the pictures don't work, unfortunately, but I, I think that's fine. I think oh. that's totally, that's probably better. Uh, but, um, okay, if you don't know yet what cosplay is, you're lucky. The technical definition is the dress... <laughs> 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 you're lucky? I guess you don't like hot girls dressing like game characters? Okay. Uh, anyways, the technical definition is to dress up like an anime and a manga character using authentic clothes that replicate their ridiculous outfits in the non-real world. <laughs> That's the stupidest definition I've ever heard. <laughs> using authentic clothes that replicate their ridiculous outfits in the non-real world. Okay. Okay. The non-real world with authentic clothes. Seems good. All right. Let's move on. This also includes okay. any ridiculously... Right, just... Yeah, please. Go ahead, Steve. I'm sorry. Before we do, I've just noticed because you've highlighted it, every sentence has a double space after the full stop. <laughs> oh, I absolutely. I see it, and it's about to drive me insane. He does the Project 7 double yeah. space. <laughs> no, the... Uh, sorry. Chap level 1 level double one. space. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking this... everywhere. This also oh includes any ridiculously large swords wacky hairstyles or anything else that cannot exist properly in this plane of ex what the fuck man what <laughs> this also includes any ridiculously large swords wacky hairstyles or anything else that cannot exist properly in this plane of existence if it's not a naturally grown uh, free range sword oh you can't have okay it. okay that makes okay now <laughs> of course these morons don't seem to get the picture what picture did they not get? <laughs> what? <laughs> the, the, the picture is, I don't like your hobby. <laughs> you look yeah, like Yeah, that's that's basically it. He's ex explaining something that okay, big ups to uh Ice Ice Age. Of course, explanation. Oh, you know he's gotta explain it. What the fuck? Come on, you know that's coming. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck on your pool, Ice Age. Uh next up. Ooh, I'm yeah, go ahead. I'm looking them up on, on Google now, uh, and I wrote 2003 uh, cosplay, and it's not even like anything too crazy or cringy, it's just yeah, kids in costumes yeah. that are like, you know, makeshift costumes, and they kind of look wholesome and interesting, and not That's too crazy, right not there. too cringe. <laughs> I don't know what he had a problem with that much. Uh, just that 
people are having fun that's not him congrats on the cat pull i think that's our second ever cat pull congratulations we all wish we could be, wow, be that lucky cat pull. Cat pull. Wow. <laughs> there we go okay let's go keep going first of all why do people cosplay what kind of oh my god how long can you mm -hmm. go on this dude what kind of fun can you possibly get out of spending hundreds of dollars on an authentic costume of your favorite anime manga character? See, what kind again, of fun can you possibly what kind get of fun? out of spending hundreds of dollars on anything I don't enjoy is what he means, but okay. Yeah. If you haven't yeah, noticed yet, anime is fantasy, not reality. Halloween is once a year. You're not going to score any extra points for trying to pull off looking like some imaginary character all the time. This is wild. It's not even like, it's just kind of sad, but let's keep going. I can't imagine the kind of person that would actually enjoy doing something like cosplay. It's a waste of time, money, and self-dignity. Holy shit. Wait, I take it back. I Dude. do know the kind of person that would enjoy something like that. We have the cosplay dork. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> the cosplay doll. This is your typical cosplayer. Fat, Bro. stupid. Okay, go ahead, Mirka. Is, just, is this just a segment of him creating some fantasy person to attack and shit on? Like he does nowadays? He literally did this today. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Usually Ned Legend of Zelda fan. Oh, you Nintendo Steve? fan. Yeah. Hello, Steve. I think so. Yeah, am I still here? You're talking, but I can't hear you. Hello, yeah, Steve. Yeah, you are. Yeah. There you oh, go. Cool. I sorry, I had, to I had to refresh. Sorry. No problem. Okay, um, we got you. It's got raining you. a lot here, and I have virgin internet style technical issues. Sorry, virgin internet <laughs> style. Well, how you better have fuck you, it. How I've much got have you, Chad internet? <laughs> how much have you missed of uh, the bashing of cosplayers' will to live? No, I got it. It's just okay, okay. Um, yeah. Like I, I wanted to say, like when he goes, what, "What sort of fun can you have?" It's like he doesn't consider, like he can't conceptualize that people have fun in ways other than he does, and so he can't understand like. Like you're building a costume, you're you're trying to recreate something, and and so there's work and effort that goes into that. And as a yeah. result of that, you know, when you do make it good, you know, have you seen that woman who does like the Borderlands ones, and she does like the makeup to make it look like she's got that that shading effect? Look, an incredible amount of work goes into that stuff. So that he can't see it as fun. So why can't why do other people have fun? It's really glaring. Beer cats. Uh, yeah, yeah, people do weird shit all the time just for fucking fun. But like, it's like I don't know why you attack anybody's like it's such a DX pull. Congratulations, Meerkat. Hmm? Uh, hey, there we just, go. Just why yeah. attack people for doing something? But anyways, oh, this holy is the, shit. This is the kind of that guy sentence. who sits behind his computer. Oh, wait, hold on, let me read the first sentence. This is your typical cosplayer: fat, stupid, and ugly, and so much of a dweeb that the only social interaction he can get is to dress up in a fucking drag. And drive forty hours across the country to meet up with other transsexual nerds. It's oh, coming damn. from someone whose social interaction I like is, Phil. yeah. So, like, what is his social interaction at this point? Circuit City and the forums. Um, the forums. FGC. FGC he forums. Does occasionally turn up at um, fighting game tournaments and things, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, definitely. So, and he, he has fights. He plays show up. The FGC. Uh, <laughs> yeah. People... I don't know who else. <laughs> But remember, no one respects him at those things. Remember, he's telling he told us that. <laughs> no one respects him. No one c c says his yep. name when they think about it. So it, you you can know why how this kind of opinion is formed, guys. We can see this when you have no social skills at all. You're treat you're so much of an asshole that even in people in the fighting game community don't like you, and you have to lash out at people that are having fun doing something. That you know whether you like it or not, they're just having fun doing whatever the fuck they want to do. But all right. Uh, oh, this is going places, this. This is the kind of guy who sits behind his computer on IRC wishing he was cool and trying to be, oh my god, this is Phil writing right to Phil. This is the kind of guy who oh, sits yeah. behind his computer on IRC wishing he was cool and trying to be friendly with all the girls while incessantly stuffing yodels in his face all day in real life. Yodels are like uh, ho-hos for our non-American watchers. Oh, oh, but, uh, bah, ho, what ho, ho's? ho ho for our non-american watchers even next level is chocolate pastry basically right, chocolate right. pastry uh he actually thinks yep. that what he's wearing right now is funny so again i i know what he's thinking i'm gonna tell you what he's thinking Ooh, even oh, oh great right. they, cool, they look quite cool. Nice. yeah it's a I like when he does it. the switch roll yeah yeah switch roll oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah nice yeah, nice, yeah. Nice. Cool. Very classic. Yeah, he actually nice. thinks that what he's wearing right now is funny rather than pathetic and revolting. A sad, sad man. The sadder part is that he's probably a closet homosexual. 
Oh my god. Dude, this is deep, man. Dude, this is just the manifesto of a dude who's like really deep in the closet. So he needs to create different fictional characters to project onto. It's just him. God. I haven't had sex in The eight. damage has already been done to his Good, good, job. good pool, BST. Another cat pool, but uh, okay. Um, that's this is this is this is almost the the rage he gets after a, like a single event happens. Like we've seen this rage before, but that was only after Taco Chan turned him down, and he went to the forums with this kind of this kind of rage. Well, DSP anger, you know, but, but John don't get me wrong. John Rambo, I'm all John Rambo. conventions and shit. Anime manga conventions celebrate important as what? Where is this coming from? All right, don't get me wrong. I'm all for conventions and shit. All right, so he likes conventions and shit. Can't slag him off. <laughs> but he fans. just contradicts himself because mm -hmm. uh, in the first paragraph he said that he dresses up the 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 imaginary dude. He dresses up in drag to meet a bunch of like no life losers, uh, as he called them, quote unquote, other transsexual nerds. And now he's saying I have nothing against convention. Yeah, that's Bruh, th what? this. This is a maybe a new record for fastest c contradiction. Because yeah, he says closet homosexuals. Who else would attend a cosplay convention? Oh, actually, he, the caveat of cosplay okay, convention. Yeah, yeah, there you go. It's yeah, like it's the... fine if it's conventions of things that he likes. Yes, you know, they're it. fine. Wrestling conventions, fine. You know, yes, but cosplay conventions, conventions? Fine. homos, yeah. all Get homos, the fuck out of here. <laughs> all homos there. Uh, anime, manga, comic book conventions celebrating poorest aspects of pop culture of our world during the past 50 years or so. But what the fuck makes it so cool to dress up like a fool? <laughs> oh my god. You don't even get any goddamn candy for it. <laughs> I'm thinking it's not Halloween. <laughs> All you get is your picture on the internet and a million people who don't even know you Making fun of your dork ass behind your back. I can't imagine what would possess a person to participate in cosplay. Besides being so amazingly bored with life that you have hundreds of dollars to waste and hundreds of hours to spend with your fellow dorks. Acting like you're cool and socially accepted. While in reality, you're just a silly faggot fooling yourself. Holy oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> This is Anyway, insane. thanks for that tip. I'll just get it up on the leaderboard. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, my God. Man. So insecure about this, people this is... expressing themselves in ways yeah. that he doesn't. That is wild. You said it perfect. That's, that's it. He's so, so not confident with his own self that when other people are confident enough, Mm-hmm. That, that's oh, scary. Skill right there. This is How could you? <laughs> that is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. oh, Too quick says, "Oh, the irony! All you get is your face on the internet, and everyone making fun of you." Yeah. <laughs> Too bad. Well, we're lucky it was just his face. It could have been so much worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, yeah. Man, this is this comes from some deep, deep issues, man. Like, just let it go, dude. This, this is like mm -hmm. anger coming out. What the fuck makes it so cool to dress up like a fool? Anyways, okay. Oh yes. Now we get into the chick side of things, and we can see. Uh -huh. Oh you're gonna, yeah. Chad, if we you love this, those. If this is your first stop with the Dead Sea Scrolls, you're gonna love it. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. All right, the mm -hmm. random hot chick. This picture shows you have the hot no chick showing off for people that are hot chick making this homely looking chick look dead. bad. You don't oh, give God, a shit I wish about anybody see. but yourself. The guy above's wet dream. Fuck, I wish you could see that picture. Mm -hmm. Let's go. The correct answer is, of course, D. None of the above. That girl's a fucking dweeb and a half. Not a hot chick. Oh, <laughs> oh, my, oh god. my god. This oh holy fuck. I'm reading the last line, yeah, man. We'll, we have we'll to get, get there. That we'll part. get there. Mm. Any self-respecting hot girl who would dress up like that has to be on some kind of drugs. And she looks pretty straight to me. What? You have to be on drugs to do cosplay. If you were oh god. If you were to meet this girl in real life, don't worry, Phil. If you were to meet this girl in real life, <laughs> talking to her for more than five seconds may result in either a sudden outbreak of uncontrollable narcolepsy, I guess because she's yeah. boring, because she's or, boring, yeah, or yeah. your brain liquefying instantly and be getting a slow dribble out of your inner right ear canal. <laughs> oh, 
shit. That, that's a joke right there, but it's, yeah. it's way too complex. Yeah, I, I get what he's saying, but it's like, all right. But this is unfortunate yeah. because if she were not a total loser, this girl would actually be a hot piece of ass. So he, she, is hot. <laughs> she is hot in the end. So she is hot. Let's not get uh -huh. it twisted. She is hot. But because she does uh -huh. this, this offense feels to such a degree. Because yeah, she's a dweeb. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Dweeb and if, a half. Sorry. I don't wanna, if like, I were to fuck this girl, it. don't worry, Phil. <laughs> I feel, right, 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 before we go any further, yes. the most laconic reply there, if. If, yeah? If I want to fuck this girl, I would have to fuck her right in the poop shoe. Because actually sticking my dick in her pussy would probably reflect some kind of respect for her. And that's something I definitely don't want to do. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! I did not expect to find this in the oh scrolls today. This Cause might be cosplayed. the most crazy thing we've seen in the month we've been doing this fucking show. Steve, <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Go first, then this, of course Meerkat next. This has excelled what we found last time. This is amazing. <laughs> Just this is like well in line with his other stated principles about women, though, isn't it? Yeah, women are all not to be trusted. They're all, yeah, they're all users. They'll, you know, the moment you indicate a, a, a bit of interest, they'll crush you under their heels. You know, it's this is in Southside Phil. This is coming out right now. Terrified of sexuality. Any hint of it, heterosexual or homosexual, any of it, anything. Just, just a display of confidence or inner sexual security in yourself and your sexuality and what you like in bed terrifies him to this point where he has to be like, I, if I would fuck you, I'd do it in the ass because I don't want to respect you. you know, I'm doing it in the ass. That should be. Meerkat, please. Up. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Um, we love it. <laughs> you're supposed to give like better analysis, but sometimes you just have to go to ass fucked up. <laughs> This is, the, this is the kind of shit that Andrew Tate would read and think it was too far in its <laughs> dream. Andrew Tate, a young, Andrew Tate. A young Andrew Tate takes notes. <laughs> yeah. Andrew Tate was on TopHaters.com. <laughs> he got top an early G. start. That's why he's the top G. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was in like elementary school on TopHaters.com. Like, holy shit, this guy's good. Hang on. Phil, Phil, would her ass taste like mango ice cream, though? <laughs> Great question. <laughs> but it I taste like Trader Joe's taco. Like, don't not to get too serious. Not to get too sorry, sir. Moist. I'm gonna get too deep here. But Steve, I want your mm -hmm. opinion on this. From what we've seen in these last, we've we've been looking at stuff from you know this period, 2003, mm -hmm. 2000. He is extremely, extremely not scared, but. <sighs> T dealing with women is not something he wants to do. So he does, he goes about it in many different ways, even to this day, right? So first thing is making fun of it, making jokes, you know, oh, look at her tits. <laughs> look at the tits, mm -hmm. man. It's awesome. Or it's this way, lashing out at them in an angry way. We've, we've, we've seen both, right? The angry yeah, way yeah. or the yeah. jokey way. And that just comes off to me like, I don't know how to deal with women, so therefore fuck them, you know? Like, that's what it seems like. But what are your, what's yeah. your take? Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely <laughs> it. At this point, I reckon he's still a virgin. There is no way he's got any experience with the opposite sex. And it's it, it's an insecure thing because he's, he's probably still feeling that burn of, I'm still a virgin. The older you get and the longer you remain a virgin, the more you sort of feel insecure about it. But no way of, of like, because he's just such a repugnant person that he ends up doing stuff like this. So he's obviously not going to have much luck with the opposite sex. So he's just going to be like a, a, a reinforcing cycle. But if it's something that he's comfortable with, if it's something that he's knowledgeable about, if it's something that he feels confident enough in knowing about, he will write fucking essays about it. <laughs> he can give you a tournament wrap up blow by blow, pixel by pixel, you know. But when it comes to women, because he has no experience to draw on, he ends up doing stuff like this. Instead, you either joke about it or you like, unreasonably mean about it on top haters.com but there's definitely insecurity there he's got God. like no experience and it's terrifying to him i'm tweeting that this line right now go ahead meerkat yeah uh, i've seen this thing about narcissists and i i remember i read this somewhere mm. but i can't really remember where where 
and I see this in DSP a lot, where he feels like he could be a master at pretty much anything if he really wanted to. He, he could yeah. be amazing. He just doesn't want to. So in this case, it's like, yeah, I, I could get all the chicks I want. I just don't want to because they, they kind of suck. Am I right? I prefer to be with the boys. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, yeah, because if you have like a, a, a transac transactional, transactional relationship aspect to you where you see everything, all your relationships in that way, and, and Phil does. We know what Phil can get out of you. is like that's how much he values you. And once you've served your purpose to him, he's done. He don't care. I mean, like um, like OJ said last week. Um, so yeah. Last week. Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> like OJ, OJ said. said yeah. Week. That was incredible. All, everything's yeah. transactional. Yeah. Last OJ said this, Meerkat. He said, uh, "Yeah, Phil said he wanted to hang out. Uh, he just wanted me to hold the camera. That's what he means when he says he wants to hang out with you." OJ yeah. said that. <laughs> That's great. That awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to all of those uh, yeah. one day because this, this old yeah. shit is golden, man. This like yeah. uncovering it, having it somewhere archived so people can find it accessible is yeah. is is just next level. <laughs> so, but, but like yeah, when you ahead. when you view everything like that, it is easy to switch to well, I don't need you in order to be more secure about something. So if you're not having much luck with women. Then it's easy to be like, oh well, I don't care about women. Then it's fine. You'll you'll reason it in some way, and then it's easy to discard rather than being insecure and worried about it. So that's why stuff yeah. like this is, you know, manifesting itself because he's been, oh well, I don't care about women anyway. <laughs> Got better things yeah. to do. More time. Yeah, but this like, has yeah, ahead, gross it, it has really carried over to nowadays where you see him have segments about, uh, I don't need sponsorships. I I don't want them anyways because I want to be honest with my viewer base. I don't need views because I make content for a curated audience. It's just, it's, it's the same mentality. You just transpose it onto something else. It's the same yeah. thing. And it's yeah, like, yeah. but if you don't, if you really don't care about things, of course, there's a million things in our life we all don't care about. But the difference is we don't write fucking website articles about them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care about gardening and I don't write about gardening, but Phil the, act, pretends he doesn't care about shit. And he's like, I'm going to write 14 paragraphs about it. Tell me how much I don't care about it. And you can suck my dick too. You know, it's like, he cares so much about it. You know, it's like incredible with those like the sponsorships yeah. too. Like, I don't even fuck the sponsors. I don't even care. But then the next week will be like, you know, it's been tough, Craig. You know, like I wanted to get sponsorships. Couldn't get them. Trolls fuck me on that one. Like he mm -hmm. cares so much about it. But I don't know how we can move on from this. Is there more coming? There's another picture. Obviously, we can't see the picture, but we're going to get his mm -hmm. thoughts here. And uh, it continues. Uh, the really disturbing part about a cosplay convention, about cosplay conventions, is that they're basically just a precursor to free sex. Oh, there you go. What? Oh, what? there you go. See? I've they're heard from sources. To get laid. <laughs> there you go right there. Like hot chicks are, yeah. Hot chicks, they, they really have trouble getting laid. I don't know if you knew this, guys. Yeah. Hot chicks oh, have yeah, really yeah. difficulty getting laid. So what they do is do cosplay. It's a great idea. <laughs> yeah. That's the only reason hot girls are doing cosplay, right? Uh, anyways, let's keep going. I've heard from sources that they're nothing but a front for a kind of, for a lot of wacky sex and orgies. Sign me up. I know. Yeah, no, he makes them so <laughs> Bro, dress me up as anybody. I'm going to be Super Mario tomorrow. I'll if be... it's that easy, dress me up. I'll be whoever the fuck you want. <laughs> I'll be tingle. I don't care. <laughs> Pretty He's much making <laughs> cosplay conventions sound like the coolest place ever. Doing cosplay and being with a bunch of other people that all doing cosplay and then having an orgy it sounds fucking badass. He's the one who sounds like a loser at the at the end of everything, and he's making the article. Pretty much everyone who attends a cosplay convention gets laid. Awesome. All right. If I'm, tw <laughs> if I'm 21 years old, I'm sign me up. I'm right. getting. Give me the link. <laughs> right. If I don't get laid at the next cosplay convention, I'm blaming Phil. And I'm going to email <laughs> topmakers.com. Oh, you Steve, said. Steve. I've heard from sources. Exactly. It's been verified. It must be true. <laughs> I've heard from sources, dude. You kidding me? What the fuck is. I've heard from sources. This I've sounds like some uh, on the NBA journalist insider. Yeah. Oh, I. Yeah. <laughs> As, as per sources, uh, DSP yeah. is now um, being yeah. traded to the, the Connecticut Coomers yeah. for a, a, a legendary historical contract. God. Sounds cool, sources right? have confirmed that the, um, the, the sex um, submarine 
has imploded at 69,000 feet. Um, <laughs> sources also added, nice. <laughs> what is a sex submarine? What, what's that all about? I want to know. Yeah, I, was, I was grasping for a way to bring it. <laughs> uh, pretty much, okay, one more time for a fact. Pretty much everyone who attends a cosplay convention gets laid, guys. So you got to get out to co cosplay conventions ASAP. But that sounds cool, right? <laughs> Sounds good to me, cat, cat. We need that, but dress up and act like a fool for a day and get some hot pussy. Well, pussy. Pussy. <laughs> dress up and act like a fool for a day, get some hot pussy. Good luck to. No, I'm gonna kill myself. Uh, sorry, it was a bad pull, but good luck. Oh, you got Otis. Anyway. Otis, yeah. I need yeah, Mirka. You gotta stay here for you can tell the art wrestlers are. I just pick funny yeah, ones. Yeah, of course. Um, but well, sadly, 99 percent of the people at these events look like this. So oh, this shit, must be... I've just realized I made a sex submarine joke and didn't say it's full of semen. Fuck! No! no. Come on! No. Too late now. No, no, sorry, Get this guy out of here. That's, that's a late callback. Okay. Too late. Okay. Alright, last two paragraphs, guys. I'm gonna try to... Oh, you can't see it. God damn it. Let me try to scroll up here. You got it. Hold on. Um, <clears throat> I'll scroll down here. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> on, the, on the call here. Okay. So, at, so, uh, you, so you get all the sex you want from these guys. God save us all. And the girls pretty much make that hideously ugly chick from the Drew Carey show look like Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh, Jennifer Love Hewitt fam. Mm -hmm. Bill. Okay. We never get a look at his, like, he never shares his, like, who's his hottest girl. So he does mm -hmm. like Jennifer Love Hewitt. So if you're looking for well, a sock his name. swimsuit model wife. Yeah. She's <laughs> oh, definitely. If you're looking for a sock account, Jennifer Love Hewitt might get his ire. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, but I can get oh my go. god clear for right, the shots I'm, I'm gonna go this <clears throat> <laughs> clear the airwaves here I can get hotter sex from my next door neighbor's great dame <laughs> if I set my dick on fire first before plunging <laughs> into the bitch <laughs> bro is he wait 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 is he talking about fucking a dog yes he yeah. is Dog, <laughs> suck a dog off. There is an undercover name next to her neighbor's Great Dane. Oh, dude. Phil's next to her neighbor's Great Dane. Oh my <laughs> Dollar god, 50 dude! Tip. That you don't use that even in a fucking metaphor, man. Like I don't, I you don't do that. <laughs> what? Who does that? Especially I going into like. In, into detail in creating like the visual image of him sticking it into the ass of a dog it's just like you it's don't want to do that it's like right okay there's a very famous experiment in forensic psychology which shows that the language you use can affect how you interpret things including memory but there is very few ways to interpret the word plunging he is going <laughs> yeah. full on into the bitch she is absolutely plunging his penis into this Great Dane, by the way. So he used a, a big yeah. dog, too, you know? <laughs> That's kind of frightening <laughs> to think about. Uh, <laughs> too quick? What vest is Great Dane best? <laughs> <laughs> dude. If, <laughs> if this, dude, again, if you're fucking 12 and you're trying to be edgy, you might say something stupid like this. This is a person that is an adult and can vote. At this age, at this age, right? You're not right about that. Dude. Oh man! Damn, I think I missed a pull. Let me know if I missed your pull, and I'll definitely do it. And you get a pull here too quick. So wait a second here. Um, but here we go. Uh, let's move on to the last last sentence paragraph. I don't, know, right I don't know about you guys. This is screaming sexual security to me. I am confident in my sex life. That's what this is telling. Me. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, very comfortable. This is too quick, by the way. <laughs> too quick gets. China, first China of the day. Wow. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think we did miss one, so let me know if I missed yours. Uh, so in conclusion, cosplay is bad news. It's for the biggest <laughs> losers on the planet. Yeah, all those people getting laid. Uh, it attracts the ugliest <laughs> antisocials yeah. together for free sex. <laughs> it costs too much, and it's pointless. Uh, if you get laid as much as you say, that's a point for me. Uh, this, of all that. this coming <laughs> from somebody who plays Marvel versus Capcom. <laughs> <laughs> who makes... Who makes 21 year old New Year's resolutions to do good in video games. <laughs> <laughs> that is who no, is this writing guy's, this. <laughs> this guy's rivals are like 12 years old. This is that dude. Yeah. Dude, this is, this is like. 
<laughs> oh, this is this is like when people who play Dungeons and Dragons look down on people who play Warhammer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You guys are fucking nerds, dude. <laughs> <laughs> on top of that, you can pretty much expect to find your fucking ridiculous ass picks somewhere on the internet to make fun of. Oh, picks is the wrong spelling. Picks somewhere on the internet to be made fun of. All right. Avoid like the plague. And the next time you see a cosplayer, put him in the gut for me. Oh, look at this badass. Watch out, guys. This guy's a true mm. badass. Put him mm. in the gut for me, dude. If we all follow this simple rule, soon all the cosplayers' guts will be too sore to fit into those gay-ass costumes. <laughs> dude. Come on, man. Oh, man. Well, that was a treasure trove. <laughs> We're gonna try to top that. That's just a link we found. That was like, yeah, that was like the first link <laughs> off the main page. God damn, that was a fucking link. <laughs> we got a lot more fun to go, but all right, let me try to fix the view here, and we'll get back to it. Here we go. All right, back in it, back in it, back in it here. All right. So now we're into October tenth. Uh, so what we've learned so far is cosplayers get laid a lot, and that's a big problem. People would rather fuck a dog, suck a dog off, than get laid a lot. <laughs> Because they're gay and they punch him in the stomach. So yeah, punch him in the stomach. Don't forget that part. Please punch in the stomach, guys. All right, let's go. Uh, to address the lack of updates, random hate, and various info. Oh, we got some various hate. Random hate. It's a very normal thing to receive is random hate. Let's see how he gets it. Uh, first, to address the obvious lack of updates on the site. It's been a, a month since the last one. Pretty much nothing going on. I'm busy with school and work 99% of the time. It's not a lot of time to bullshit. But I'm going to update when I do feel it's appropriate or when something interesting happens that I feel I need to pass on. Pass on. So without further ado, let's get to it. Post on the top haters forums, you fuckers. We need feedback for impact. <laughs> and I need feedback about this site to know what you want to see on it. So give it to me. Engage Tell with me. What me. To do. <laughs> Tell me what to do. What do you guys want me to do? Should we talk about it? Let's talk about it and work something out. We need to determine... Make a determination what we're going to be doing going forward. So, you know, for the next game player, the next event, you know, what do you guys want to see? You know, I'm up for anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Engage no, with me. <laughs> Item number two on the agenda. The can is apparently care so much. Do you have any idea? Yeah, like, yeah. The number of people that were actually looking at that site, or was he just talking to himself most of the time? I mean, the forums have, any, like, uh, the forums have, uh, uh, I guess, estimate is tough, but the forums have, like, very few posts, so it feels like not that much. Because why go to his post when you have the fucking the real forms right fucking yeah. there? So like Joe Ryukin as well. Yeah, everyone it kind was of supposed a, to be his rival to that, wasn't it? That's yeah, like he was trying to like make it like every, there was a site for fighting game players back in the day, and that was fucking it, the one we always look at. This is like mm. trying to fight that one with one person that everyone fucking hates. So you can guess the success level of this. Uh, yeah. But item number two this is the, the KO gaming of <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is the KO gaming <laughs> of the fighting game community, but. The cannons apparently care so much about me that they found a way to totally block me from viewing showyuken.com. Even, oh my God, mm -hmm, he got mm -hmm. blocked from that site? Mm -hmm. even, th even through an IP yeah, yeah. blocking utility. I guess they hate me that much and are still thinking about me, which I feel, find pretty hilarious. See, they blocked me, so they must be thinking about me. Well, no, they blocked you and carried on. <laughs> yeah, they blocked him multiple times, by the way, because of his fucking trash talk and talk of like, like let's do some physical. Like he he always talks like a big yeah, guy, yeah. but he's like, oh, I'm just kidding, guys, just trash talk. But sometimes Dude. they get pissed at that. But anyways, but, I guess go ahead. So he was he was so bad, and I, I don't know how things worked in the two thousand three because I was still like walking under the table. I was uh, a, a little baby boy. Me too. But go ahead. he was so oh, bad God. that they made it. <laughs> Yeah, no. I forget you. Uh, uh, they made it so he literally he literally couldn't go to the website. They IP yeah. banned his ass. Yeah, Fucking like, wild. Amazing. Dude, and that site, you could post whatever the fuck you want. It doesn't have to be on topic even. People were tossing about whatever the fuck they want. He got banned multiple times, changed his name multiple times, and it's because he was such an asshole. He's <laughs> like, not just banned, IP banned. <laughs> IP, yeah. Not just his name, because they no. know he comes back. Dude, I can name, how many names can I name? Will Moses, DSP, DXP, uh, Punisher, uh, let me say, Dark Side <laughs> Phil. Yeah, there's five names on the top of my head that he has used in that website. So finally, like, all right, fuck it. IP ban this bitch. You know, fuck this shit, man. Uh, let me put this into perspective for you guys. Derek 
is almost causing the collapse of the Cherry Pimps empire. He is not IP banned. <laughs> yes. DSP was IP banned. Yes. And it's, it's because going back in just out of interest. I think he did get back, right? That was the that was the no. breaking news I heard. Uh source a source told me, I thought. Yeah. We have to look into it later. Okay. Anyway. He'll find a way. Yeah. Yes. We need to get our <laughs> Derek reporter nothing else. Snood on that on that. Please snood. Get to your sources and let us know. Bill Brasky uh, needs more scripts. Come on. <laughs> so Robert so? Starsky, sorry, not Bill Brasky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bob Starsky needs worse. Okay, I guess they hate me that much. Yeah, it sounds like it, which I find pretty mm -hmm. hilarious because, oh, dude, dude, mm -hmm. dude, mm -hmm. I don't ever think about them or mention them ever, even on this site, unless something new happen happens that I feel is worth mentioning. There are no anti-canon diatribes or hate articles on this site. So while the attention, I've left it totally clean since Evo, and yet they still continue to do shit. So he's saying because I don't talk shit about them on this site, I should be able to be on that site. Mm -hmm. Of course, too. I still post on SRK whenever I want. It's pretty hilarious to be honest. Now I don't understand because he's still posting. Yeah. It's, it's, it's totally blocked him. But he can still post. Oh, he's still posting. Yeah. If anyone in chat... Within the same paragraph. ...is a lore master, uh, let us know about that. But if you have a problem with me, Tom and Tony... <laughs> Why not voice it? Why not publicly say what's in your mind and why you care so much about me? Oh, because that's not what you do. You wouldn't have the balls to show up anywhere and confront your enemies like I did at Evo 2K2 a while back. What Whoa, is he referencing he here? Is this Shady K or is this mix up? He had a few money matches with people he fought with uh, on the forums. Or is this talking about Mike Watson? This feels and it's the... not Shady K. This, this is. What? The, no, the, 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 the Jaha incident is 2005, I think. So we can't. It's not that. So. Yeah, the 12 year old we talked about, the fabled match, that was at a mall. So it can't be that. It wasn't even. That was a mall. <laughs> that fabled match happened fabled outside match. of a FYE. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At the that sacred a... battleground yeah. at the mall. <laughs> the big drama was if the mall was going to close or not. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and he bought donuts for them people. Yeah. Because money is no object. So 2157, you know, you know how I do. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Give me a, okay. Anyways, please let me know what he's talking about. If anyone knows 2k2 when he confronted his, uh, his right, his, his enemies. enemies, excuse me, excuse me. Yes. He, he the anime storyline, it was finalized there. Instead, you hide behind your computers and ban people, then laugh to yourselves. <laughs> Laugh to yourselves like you have some kind of power. <laughs> this is this. He goes beyond what people are feeling now. He knows what people fucking do. You're laughing to yourselves because you have power. Man, this this guy, is exactly what he does. <laughs> this is <It's> insanity. <laughs> the all seeing eye of DSP knows how people are feeling and acting all the time. It's amazing, dude. Give me a break, guys. And grow some balls. It's little <laughs> faggots like you that keep shit going that piss me off. <laughs> piss me off. Either let it drop or take it to the next level. Oh, oh, Italian oh. mafia style, Phil. Take it to the next level. You're going to have a big problem. <laughs> what are you going to do? On the Cry day of my wife's crying yeah. downstairs. <laughs> And ask me to take it to the next <laughs> level. <laughs> While you sit there behind your keyboard laughing, thinking you have some kind of power. But the whole band thing is getting way old. And seeing that you're still <laughs> thinking about me and finding new ways to annoy me is pretty pathetic. <laughs> Whoa, what did they do? Finding new ways to annoy me? What the fuck? Oh, no, no. All they're doing, Steve, is they just banning banned him. him. Yeah, they banned him from a website. That's all they've done. And now we get to hear about all how much mental capacity that they're taking it. Phil is taking in their minds, even though they just probably banned him and said, "All right, we're fucking done." You know, I'm done. <laughs> but anyways, let's go. Give me a break, guys. Grow some balls. Here, let me make it easy for you. Let me, let me say it in a language you understand. I'll fight you both at the same time in public, in a publicized match. So we can finally end this thing and move on and prove I fucking own you. This is it, guys. This oh, is damn. the fa fabled match. 
All the source code in the world won't help you then. <laughs> what? Oh, oh my god. All the source code in the world won't help you then. Okay. Immediately, I am thinking they beat him and he blamed the game. I uh, could be. <laughs> pixels, my friend. Pixels. Yeah, pixels, motherfucker. You beat me by pixels. <laughs> Remember that when you go to sleep tonight with your victory trophy. <laughs> you beat me by pixels, dude. All the source code in the world won't help. Like, the source code has nothing to do with this. I guess it's because the IP banned him. He's trying to use some, like, lingo. Oh, but yeah. Yeah, possibly. I'm yeah, guessing yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Now, stop thinking about me. I'm way. I'm way both of your lame asses. Christ. I'm reading it as it's written. There's something missing there. Yeah, I think I'm he missed way something. over. I think over. I'm way both above. Of your I think he oh, was going above. 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 Could be. Could be. Could be. Uh, but there you go. Uh, all the source code <laughs> in the world won't save you. It's definitely a drunk post. He was not <laughs> over writing this. I refuse to believe this. <laughs> item one got red, but item one is still blue with first. So it's kind of a, yeah, he's, he's not really thinking all the way. Moving on. I don't know how many of you follow anime. Oh, I know you do. Uh, but the best one route right now is probably Naruto. It's based off a very long manga that's still going on in Japan. Just like all the... Imagine moving on like this, too. This is just mm. funny. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. it's, based... <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it's back to normal. Okay. It's based on... The plot is pretty good in itself, and the art and action are awesome. And the dialogue is priceless. The only gripe with the series is that there are pauses for convos and background stories. Other crap. Right in the middle of fights. I don't know about you guys. I don't stop to stand around and pose and talk for 10 minutes in the middle of a heated fight. Oh, because okay. you're regularly in heated fights. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> like how anime it's rolls. It's unrealistic. But, yeah, you know. it's kind of how old school anime rolls. <laughs> I, mean, but... I mean, like Phil. <laughs> like, it's, yeah. it happens to him a lot. He's often in heated fights, and it's like, I don't stop and talk. <laughs> yeah, I just keep fighting. You Go into me... the mall, get into a heated fight. We don't, we don't stop to dialogue at each other. <laughs> It reminds me all too much of Dragon Ball Z and the fucking Shakespearean sonnets they used to blab out instead of just pummeling each other into oblivion. The other anime that knew what was up and just let everybody fuck each other up all day, Fist of the North Star, fucking rocked. So get a clue, Naruto, and let people smash each other's brains in with all, out all the drama. Plot movement is a key <laughs> to a successful story. <laughs> Most successful okay, sorry, literal we manga, to... most successful of all time, top three of all time. Literally been going for 30 fucking years. Longer than Phil, you know, 30 clue. years. <laughs> but get a clue, dude. You lost your way, Naruto. Uh, You're I give not Naruto. Fist of the North Star. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> three out of four middle fingers up as far as anime goes. Good shit. I love the good shit. Good shit. Um, next, speaking of Naruto, you can get a lot of mangas at website. It looks like the website actually worked. Let me see if I can show you. Ah, uh, no. Nothing. Yeah. Uh, for free, totally translated to English, go to supernova.org, download all the Naruto apps, and start reading the mangas. The mangas leave off a little bit. Blah, blah, blah. Is this fairly encouraging pirating? <laughs> or were they like uh, legit links? I think it seems like mm. supernova.org, was that legit or not? I don't know, but... I'm currently mm. rebuilding. Oh, he's, uh, this is before he's did the comp, by the way. So we are going in reverse. Oh, wait, 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 order. wait, wait. Yes, go ahead. That, there was a last paragraph in a uh, last sentence. Sorry, in that paragraph. By the by way, by the way, you shout out. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, super shout out to Tragic for providing that info and letting me know about Naruto to begin with. Of all the Evo tournament directors, Tragic is the bomb shiz list. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine i give a break for that shit because you know we all he's, talk like idiots a, but he's 21 at this board by the way so that's, is, uh, that's a little different his rating scale he gives naruto <laughs> three out of four mi middle fingers yeah middle we lost fingers him. up <laughs> yeah that, that way will, up <laughs> he rated it in, in middle fingers yes that's top haters dude revolutionary it's innovative in the rating system world uh. <laughs> Three of okay, so four four middle fingers. What you going Stars, after? Fuck it, four out of five. <laughs> fuck it, middle fingers. The future. All right, so now he's talking about the computer. I'm currently reading my comp because for every reason, my current setup begins to smell like electrical fire for about the past two weeks. All right, that's bad. Uh, why would people pay one thousand five hundred dollars or more for a computer ever? Is beyond me. Just build it. <laughs> <laughs> that would change quick. That would change just a few years. Uh, just build it, build it yourself, you fat, lazy people. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. This, uh, by the way, this, this there's one... There's a chance. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. There's a chance this was written on the same operating system he's currently using. <laughs> yeah, can yeah. you imagine? <laughs> Dude, and I, I legitimately think, you know, he says I used to build PCs. We are yeah, looking yeah. at the single instance of him building his own PC right here. Mm -hmm. We saw it happen. I legitimately think that is true because there's no other talk of it everywhere else. And, you know, he shares everything. And since he started streaming, he's never rebuilt a PC. We know that. I think this is mm -hmm. his, yep. all that talk of I used to do this is right here. Just like he yeah. used to be a weightlifter. That there's one post where he said like I started working out this week and that's it like that's how he rolls like yeah. does something once <laughs> I used to do this you know like you went you, you went fishing yeah. with your dad one time you're not exactly a fisherman you went fishing one time but mm -hmm. he'll be like oh yeah I used to go fishing dude like all the time but like one time you know that's how he rolls uh, but and again like even even like earlier <laughs> on because he said like you know Bill Gates didn't remind me to reinstall Windows when I replaced my fucking motherboard yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Yeah. Even back then, when he was doing it, he yeah. was bad at it. Yes. So he wasn't ever competent at anything. Yes. So, yes. Yes. So it's yeah. uh, one. I, I want to go back on my previous point where he, uh, uh, I mentioned that he could be good at anything if he wanted to. So in this case, he could have been the best PC builder ever if he wanted to. He built one and it worked. So obviously, <laughs> he could have built a thousand. <laughs> And yeah. he, he worked out once and it was okay. So he could have worked out a thousand times and been a bodybuilder. He might as well be a bodybuilder if he wanted to. He just didn't want to. Yeah, yeah, that's how he always frames it mentally so it's not as painful when it's not true. You know, that's definitely true. He wanted to deherniate his yeah. disc, so he did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Gunbound is next. Uh, Gunbound is the shit. Go there now and get it. This is, this I command. Let's get a top haters league of fucking players and start raping shit. Okay. Uh, I'll Whoa. start. Yeah, we know what you like to rape. <laughs> woof, woof. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll start holding tourneys for this game. <laughs> I'll start holding tourneys for this game. It's fun as fuck and it's free. Team tourneys are the bomb. Anyway, uh, spoiler I'm assuming there was never a league created, but that's just a guess. Maybe that's a stretch. But, um, anyways, impact is still going down. Blah, blah, blah. ECC is going to happen in 2004. And Impact is going to play with some friends. Uh, so, uh, the fate, the, the, the fabled. ECC, or sorry, not ECC, mm -hmm. um, Evo, is 2004. So that tells mm -hmm. you our, our, our uh, timeline here that, um, you know, it's, it has not happened yet, the fourth place, the fabled fourth place. Mm. Uh, really, I don't know one, how I well, feel one other thing to talk yeah. about, if you I live in Connecticut or NYC or any surrounding areas, head down to FYE in Westfield Shopping Town in Trumbull on Sundays. We're getting some gaming together to get some interesting, get some interesting... All right, must be Jin post here. Maybe you meant something interesting. Get yeah, we're something interesting we're getting some again. gaming together to get something interesting going again. Basically, we'll start out yeah. FYE during the afternoon with the two MVCs they have, which they have three three sixty sticks and Jap buttons. When that gets oh, boring, they're the ones he complained about. Yes, he complained yes, he did about, complain like, about two these. Two or three yep. streams ago, didn't he? The, mm -hmm. the sticks didn't work. The sticks fucking sad. And then it mysteriously did <laughs> later on. <laughs> when that gets boring and we're bored of being mall rats chasing fourteen year old chicks, okay. Whoa! Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. When that gets boring and we're bored of being mall rats chasing after 14 year old chicks. So after we get bored chicks. of doing that. Oh, yes. they're children, you fucking idiot. Dude, they're chicks. Remember? D age check. Uh, 21. Chick. Age check. DSP is 21 years old at this point. 21 years How old. Derek at this point. <laughs> Not born. He <laughs> was chasing 14 year olds, bruh. <laughs> this is oh. not a 17 year old Phil being a douchebag, you know, chasing 14 year old chicks. This is not a 15 year old Phil, but that would be totally fine. This is a 21 year old gentleman that is going down In to the FYE <laughs> to own some yeah, buddies. He's saying one of the things like, we'll we're doing, the yeah. cool kids chasing yeah. around 14 year olds. Yes. Yeah. He's implying yeah. that. Like when we're bored of doing that, let's, let's move on to another arcade. You know, that's... once we get bored of this, yeah. Let, once we're done this activity so much that we're bored of it, let's let's move. <laughs> God damn! Well, hell over to God. what's your game in Bridgeport, which is ten minutes away and not even, and easy to get to. Plus, it's right next to the highway. They have SNK versus Capcom, Third Strike, Mario Kart, Crappy Controls now, as well as old favorites and other stuff. They also have a pool, so you can play for money and make everyone look like fools while you run a table. 
Anyway, basically, if you're in the tri-state area, you should start to make some trips down here. Instead of making CT, come up to... Oh, my God. <laughs> Listen to this. All right. Basically, if you're in the tri-state area, you should start to make some trips down here. Instead of making C Connecticut come to you all the time. There's plenty to do, so you have no excuse. Like, this is such a lonely kid, right? That Now we're getting to the lonely, right? I, I, yeah. I have always have to go places to play. There's a lot of stuff to do here, guys. You guys just come over here sometime. Can I? Like, I always have to go to your house. Could you come to my house? And everyone's like, no, no, no. We don't want to go there. Can you please come down here? There's stuff. There's plenty to do. So you have no excuse, guys. This just screams sad, man. This That post is sad. Like, that's... It's... I mean, the... We're fucking with girls. Like, is, is he saying this as, like, a... A kind of thing to try to get guys to come, you know? Like, yeah, guys. We got some 14-year-old chicks. Ready? I... I hope I, not. I'm, I'm really trying to get a read on that other than him saying, guys, when we're bored of playing um, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and we're bored of hanging around chasing 14-year-old chicks, we could head over to a different arcade, which has, <laughs> you know, SNK vs. Capcom, Third Strike, MC2. Um, that's like the only way... I, 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 I think can't he, Yeah, I think he's trying to be cool. And, I, know, I would give the benefit mm, of the doubt. He's trying to be cool to people, like trying to get people to come because he thinks saying this is cool. I think. Yeah. You know? He's trying to be like, yeah, 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 hey, we'll be cool. Hang out here. We'll be the cool kids. You know, we've we've got stuff. So, you know, I'm fed up of traveling. I want people to come to Connecticut and do tournaments and things. And this is how he's advertising it. And he's like, hey, we'll be cool. There's other places you can hang around here. It's cool. And yeah. also we'll be chasing 14-year-old kids. You guys like Chicks. that, right? Sorry, guy, guy, yeah, like guys like that, right? But, you know, that's what he's thinking, I think. Look, I, Maybe he meant they were gonna play tag with fourteen-year-old <laughs> chicks, or maybe hide and seek or something. Yeah. Not like I could know. be. <laughs> maybe it's like the fourteen-year-old chicks that are good at Marvel vs. Capcom two, and he keeps getting the shit kicked out of it. Excuse me, guys. Uh, could you play me in this game? Uh, most people don't come here, and I have to go up Wait, to this them. This is two thousand and three, right? Yes. When did when did Mall Rats release? <laughs> yeah, check it. <laughs> 1995 <laughs> holy shit that is not right <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, by the way drew said really he'd up. play marvelous capcom for money okay until next time fuck off he always says some kind of <laughs> sign off that he thinks is hard <laughs> fuck off okay uh first impact news available fish page up come out it's good v fun supernova does it again don't let a good form go to waste oh this is oh. please use please use my forum yeah. get ready for that yeah, yeah. uh uh, not many updates as of late. Been so busy. <laughs> Sorry, not many updates as of late. Look at this. <laughs> not many updates. Here comes the paragraphs. Been so busy between the new job, Circuit City, going back to school, cleaning out my hard drive, and trying to set oh, yeah. shit up. Oh, yeah. Finally oh, yeah. got a Mr. Morats. Dude. <laughs> finally got a drive. bank account set up and fixed my paycheck. <laughs> so I have some cash. <laughs> That's dude, okay. this is like... you didn't have a bank account. <laughs> 21, dude. <laughs> I did that at 13. This you is... know, like, come on. Dude, yeah. Like 15, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He got some vision of, like, what a cool kid is from, from like, 80s movies, and he's mm -hmm. trying to emulate it, and it just falls so flat. Even back then in 2003, he was lame as fuck. Just, like, the lamest <laughs> dude ever. <laughs> The like, least cool guy in the whole neighborhood. And he's trying oh, to be man. cool, yeah, though. Like, I'll tell you that. He's putting major, the work in to be... like, Ferris Bueller's Day Off sort of vibes. Yeah, like that American sort of, you know, that sort of comedy, that sort of 80s protagonist. Yeah, That's yeah. Like, yeah, I'm so effortlessly cool, you know, with me shades and me slick back hair and, you know, me stonewashed jeans and me white sneakers and all that. That sort of, you know, affable character. He's, like, he's trying to live to that image, but fucking hell. <laughs> um, let's keep moving. Um, oh, uh, see, I've had little, I've had little time to work on anything, but I think that there are some important things to take note of. So it's time for an update. Uh, so by the way, I just want to point out again, a Phil's a Phil trope is saying he's busy with, and then he mentions things that take literal minutes, like cleaning out your hard drive. Okay, that takes <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that takes what? Ten minutes. To be fair. <laughs> to be fair, my my like video files. And yeah, all my, that's like, fine. But still, and things. Okay, you're everywhere. a special case. I don't think Phil's that case. So you okay. get ten minutes. I'll give you thirty if you're trying to be a real yeah, yeah, deep yeah, yeah, douchebag yeah. about it. And he's trying to set shit up. 
Trying to set shit up. Going to the bank and getting that done? That's a half an hour's trip. And then we have what? You know? All right. Anyways. First and foremost, if you kind of look over to your left, you'll see that work on Impact. The new East Coast fighting game major that has taken place in 2004 is well underway. Let me read a web page for Before we go any further, right? Yes. Is it... Is it just me or does like the first line where it's like first impact news available official? Does that line look like a title for like a, a, a this week in hate or King of hate? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, ask the King. Yeah, ask the King shit. Yeah. He's already, yeah. He's, he's, that's like how YouTube he got the skills. Title, right that's how he got the skills for that from this. <laughs> uh, preliminary way pressure updates now. So go check it out. Expect updates to be posted as soon as information is made available. Impact is still in the planning stage right now. So don't expect anything super denied. Yeah. This is the, the, uh, one of the tournaments that he set up himself uh, that he was a big part of. I think mm-hmm. we went over this one. Not sure if the same one, but he's definitely uh, important with this one. He definitely w- was proud of setting up tournaments. Another way he tried to be cool was to set up tournaments. Absolutely, hundred percent of the time. Uh, if you have any good ideas on how to raise money for Impact, please go. To- <laughs> he's already begging. If you have any good ideas on how to raise for money on Impact, please go to that. Okay. Anyways, speaking of forums, it's kind of my attention. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the forums, it's come to my attention that very few people are using them. <laughs> I wonder how many more times in his life he would say that. Yeah, yes. Uh, how many times has Phil had this conundrum of forums not being used? <laughs> Over 40 registered members, but nobody posts at all. I'm hoping uh, that having impact, info, and discussion on there will spur up some combo. But the situation is just sad. More you, than it you does. just know, right? You just know he has, <laughs> he had the most posts. <laughs> yeah, dude. Look at this. Look at this. More than a dozen people asked me for top hater forums, so I gave it to you, and now nobody uses <laughs> them. Dude Again. has not gotten over this <laughs> one bit. Again. You wanted right. this. You wanted this, fuckers. <laughs> yeah. You've been asking for years for yeah. me to play this game. Oh, now no where are you? Real. The whole idea it, behind it was that you can say anything you want without having to worry about repercussions, unlike another certain Street Fighter-related site, which now has so many scrub mods that have nothing to do with the community. I shudder at the thought of it. Okay, so he's talking about the oh, most, the main street, oh, the one side go. that everyone fucking uses. That's what he's talking about right here. The one he yeah, bitched yeah. about earlier so go yeah. use it or i might have to take it down because it's pretty pointless to maintain a message board that just gathers dust so this is a use it or lose it bitches i'm getting reminded of when um when, when he moved to twitch because youtube was like you know worthless and twitch is the future so youtube was just a um a repository it's an archive yes know? and twitch right. is where it is Chick- where and then at? going back the other way yeah when it's like Where's YouTube's that, great, sure. I love being back at YouTube. It just needs to change everything, so it's like what I had on Twitch because Twitch sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Some other people. Vibes. <laughs> Some other people have asked me what happened to the broken joystick web comics. Okay, yeah, broken jo- joystick web comics. Oh! We're gonna check, <laughs> guys. I'm telling you right now, this stream is gonna be two parts. It's gonna be two parts. Yeah, yeah. I did not yeah, expect yeah. to go this deep, but it's gonna be two parts. So yep. we'll we'll get to the broken joystick web comics. I promise. But to make long story short, 90 percent of the feedback I got was negative. <laughs> Ninety <laughs> percent. Yes. Oh, right, we can look at those. There's only two of them, so let's look at those real quick. I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good time. There's only two of them. There's only two of them. Here they are. No, 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 uh, that's, no, no, no. That's, <laughs> need, uh, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. Let's do this first, and then go back to his reasoning. Yes. Yes. A bit of his reasoning. So, so let's yeah, look at the first one. This is Hulk movie review. This is a the link works. Let's read this together. Uh, this is made by DSP, artwork by DSP, uh, which I don't think we've seen anywhere else. This artwork style, the Dark City to Phil, hope you're watching. Eat your heart out. Uh, this says on the left, Hulk hate movie. Too many words make Hulk look like sissy and only get 50 minutes of screen time. Yes, but Jennifer Connelly is a hottie. You have point. Besides, you suck in Marvelous Capcom 2. You don't even deserve a movie. Hulk smash puny human DX shirt. So that's DSP. Oh my God. So I'll pause for laughter here. <laughs> I'll pause for laughter. You guys get it out. We can talk after you guys are done laughing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> but uh, that was the Hulk hoot movie review. So he, he made it into a joke about fighting games. So that's the, do I need to explain the joke further? Or are you good? <laughs> 
again, it's like there's no punchline. There's no point where you kind of get the joke and it becomes funny. This is just like, hey, Hulk, you're bad at Marvel versus Capcom too. Uh, your movie is bad. Uh, Jennifer Connelly is a hottie though. Yes, that's another person right. I had to the I list. I have to say, as, as somebody who is really bad at, at uh, drawing stuff, this isn't the worst sketch ever. Mm. It, it isn't the worst drawing ever. It's no, actually, no. Yeah, I was expecting worse. Yeah, he's got a good hand until... here. Like, this hand is legit. It's, like, it's hard to draw hands, you know? That's pretty look, at how, look at how neat yeah. his handwriting is now. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look, that's, like, legible compared to, like, nowadays. Yeah, that's a good point. JT Lego says that's just random violence is the punchline. Yes, that's just, that right, is okay, so yeah. on brand. That's, yeah, yeah. Go I wanted to get onto this right because yes. like one of my first lol cows that I discovered was Tim Buckley who did Control Alt Delete, and it was one of those game of web comics where you know your guys two two guys are sat on a couch and then blah 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 funny stuff. Usually violence. One of the common criticisms of Tim Buckley's is that often the punchline is violence. But on um, on the control on the um, something awful forums, they had threads dedicated to Tim Buckley, much like you know it'd be detractor basically, but yeah, yeah. detractor Bill. But what they would do sometimes is they would remove stuff to make it funny. And you had a rule: if you remove the third panel, it would make it funnier. And it works here. Oh yeah, like, oh, it does. Yeah, I hate yeah. my movie. <laughs> it sucks. I only get fifteen minutes. Yeah, but the girl in it's hot. Ah, oh, fuck <laughs> you. Know, it's, it, it's more funny than having the. So yeah, you could literally cut a quarter of this, and it would work better. Yeah, it's just like the, it's Phil's quite extreme a ratio of the comedy. Phil. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just like Mac. Take it to the extreme. It's like just like perfect way to say it is just go to violence and it's funny. Go to shit and it's funny. Take it to the extreme and it's funny. And that's what we're seeing here. This is just not a joke. I like how he did make sure he had yeah. a DX shirt though. That's DX shirt was Why on did... on brand. I'm so upset that there were no be up news in the chat <laughs> although i will say that some people do remember um lost tim buckley and something awful so uh, thanks <laughs> i'm not alone all right let's go to <laughs> number two old. here there we go this is number two in the last there was only two guys See, so that's here we not go. Bad. yeah i mean it looks Let's fine drawing yeah. legit legit fine drawing well enough for web comics absolutely you know if they have good jokes they would go somewhere oh but, yeah Earplugs are a must by DSP. Sentinel is overpowered. This game is unbalanced. Cable is cheap. You you counter teamed. The joystick didn't work. What BS? You ran away. Who runs away in casual play? Sigh. Want to go get a beer? Sure. Marvel players. Jesus. And they were just watching the game. Okay. I like that way Again. better. Third panel. Remove it. <laughs> it still works. Yeah. Yeah. It would. But yeah. yeah, that one's better. I like that better. I mean, I get the joke at least. Like, there's the point is made that oh, these guys complain a lot. Got it. He's making fun of Marvel players. So there you go. Not bad. Uh, but that's the end of it. There was only two of them, unfortunately. So let's get back to this, where we can see that someone said ninety percent of the feedback I got was negative. <laughs> Either the art was <laughs> shitty. Oh, okay. I. I disagree with that, but okay. The art, you know, people don't remember. People yeah. don't like DSP at this point, so you know you're gonna say shit like that. You know, it sucks. But mm. anyway, either one. The art was shitty. No kidding. I haven't drawn in a decade. It would take me a little while to get my own style back. Okay, nice pig explain. Uh, or two. The comics weren't funny, or didn't make sense, or both. <laughs> that pretty much covers everything you can make fun. Of. <laughs> Is there I... anything else you can make fun of? <laughs> Oh, of course he did it after Penny Arcade. <laughs> like, so what else could you make fun of? <laughs> God damn it. All right. Uh, like, yeah. I, I don't think the art was that bad. <laughs> I really yeah, I think it was totally fine. The, the jokes weren't great, but I mean, all right. But the funny thing is, yeah. oh, God, he is going to blame it on a, a more successful comic. Here it comes, guys. Get ready. The funny thing is, I tried to model the comic after another successful webcomic such as Penny Arcade and Play vs. Player Online. Hell, the punchline delivery, oh my god, dude, this is, my hair looks exactly mm. like Ken's hair. This is what he is doing. It looks just yeah. like Ken's hair. How dare you? It looks just like Penny Arcade. A website that was, you know, employing multiple people because of how successful it was at making these fucking things and other stuff too, but... Uh, multiple punchlines and biting sarcasm. <laughs> you said biting sarcasm for your own shit. You got a problem, man. You don't. <laughs> He's rating his own stuff here. Yep. The, <laughs> the 
punchline delivery, multiple punchlines, and biting sarcasm were almost stolen from those strips. Dude. So, so, wait. Yes. Wait. Wait. So he's saying... Basically, people are criticizing me, but they're actually wrong because I just stole from somebody yeah. else who is actually well received. This is how far he'll go yeah. to not take criticism. Yeah. That is how far he'll go. Didn't didn't he do that recently with um, IGN? Didn't he like basically just copy IGN's review of something? I don't remember. I, I, don't, I remember saying yeah. DSP. And, and I put DS Philip Mewch in, and it was like the funniest thing I've ever done. So I was just like, I'm sure he's done that before. I, it's not my fault because they do it this way, so it should be working for me. Amran says, Yeah, so yeah, you gotcha. Good, Mick. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah, you, most, thank you. Uh, most notably, he did it with the Howard Stern thing, where it's like, Dude, he stole the whole Nazi gimmick from Howard Stern. It works for him. Dude. This is this this is the dude that will to uh, avoid criticism. But let's like get Zelda. Let's bring it to today. In Zelda today, the criticism, like yeah, people are like, I guess people just don't want to hear honest opinions. No, they don't care if you say honest opinions. They don't want you to complain about bullshit reasons being the worst gamer of all time, not understanding what Nintendo is trying to even do for you. And he says like, oh, people just want to hear honest opinions anymore. That's the you know, skill right there. He takes it to there because he doesn't want to take the real hit to his ego of being like, just like, people are like, this game's for 12-year-olds that figured this shit out and you did, you know? Like, that's how far it goes. Pool for down forward punch is China. Come on. Another China. Not bad, though. But let's keep going. But I guess... Mike and the number of Chinas yeah. and Mark Henry's. Yes, there is a few of those. I'm going to make that last. I got to keep making more. It's, it's, it's they're not the, trivial to make, so that's what happens. But go ahead and recap. She's not 14, but she's still pretty good. Yes. <laughs> In the mall, I would chase her. Absolutely. Absolutely would be chasing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess because I don't draw in an anime or cartoony style good enough for anyone, the strip isn't given a chance. And now he's finding a reason why you don't like it. Okay. This is the yeah, reason you don't give it a chance. The jokes are too good, right. so that must be why you don't like the jokes, Steve. No, it must it must be the style, right? Because um, people like like Penny Arcade at the time would, you know, drawing with like graphics programs, and that is clearly like a pen drawing scanned or photoed in some way. But it's fine. Like it, 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 given time, yeah. it would grow and develop, and you get better at it because you, you know, you draw more. I I drew my best stuff after I'd been like I'd period of drawing, you know, for months on end. So. You know, it's it's like what you do, and then you, if you stop, you're not going to be as good next time you pick up a pencil. But come back in time. <laughs> so it, I, I thought it was fine as a, like you know, simple <clears throat> webcomic whole thing. But dude, he's just thing. Yeah. he he's just trying to find the reason you don't think it's funny. Like that, mm. there must be a reason you don't think it's funny because it was it was obviously funny. I mean, come on, it was obviously funny. So let me see. I guess it's because I don't write or anime but, or cartoony style. <laughs> But people gave him the actual reasons and the criticisms that he says yeah. they're negative, right? So they, they told him, hey, Phil, I don't like this because this and this and this. And he just dismisses that and just starts going off on his own reasons to try and justify that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Good luck. Okay. Oh, we got a pull here for DSP's Great Dane. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chad Gable again. I'm gonna... God damn uh, it. Minor correction. Is his neighbors? And, uh, yeah, his, his neighbors. neighbors. His neighbors. Correct. 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 Mm. Okay. I'm refreshing the cash. Jumble mm. them up even more. We got to get some new cards in there. All right. And it, only after years of practice and honing their artistic. Oh my God. This continues. Okay. I dare you to go take a look at the earliest strips of PVP. Oh my God. He's wanting you to go look at the earliest strips of Petty Arcade. Because the art is equally shitty on those two guys. Hmm. That's like, yeah, you know what? Michael Jordan, when he was in elementary school, he sucked at basketball. So don't make fun of my basketball. Come on. That's what he's doing here. This is like elementary school behavior. Holy shit, man. This is not, this is someone that did not have any friends at all in high school, man. If you said this shit, everyone would laugh their fucking ass off. Can you imagine that? I'm not. I don't think I'm saying anything crazy. In high school, Meerkat, if I said this to yeah. you, if I'm playing a sport or playing basketball, 
You can't make fun of Meerkat. You ever seen Michael Jordan when he was a kid? When he was my age? He sucked. That is, you beat the shit out of you and beat the shit out of me. You make fun of me. That is insane to me. This is one of the craziest things I've read. Not, not, I mean, there's been a lot of crazy shit today. But don't you, you know what I'm saying? This is insane. I think, yeah, I think yeah. it's just, uh, <laughs> story maker, sorry. Go on. <laughs> this is madness well, to me. I mean, this is elementary thing I was going to say is yeah. the, but when ALT was in high school, basketball didn't exist. God but I, I get the so example. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Trying to make it modern. <laughs> I mean, for me, like this is the sort of thing you tell yourself when you're doing badly to reassure yourself. Like, you, you know, if you're doing badly on the basketball court, you tell yourself, you're picking yourself up, dusting yourself off and going, well, you know, Michael Jordan was shit at the start as well. But, you know, <laughs> you tell yourself to reassure yourself this, but he's weaponizing it because he's insecure about it. You know, so instead he has to project it outwards. He can't look inwards and go, yeah, I'm bad now. But even though he just did, because he's like, I haven't drawn in a decade. It'll take me a while to get back into it. So it's like, well, okay, then there you go. That's all you need. Yeah. You don't need to go. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> you. Penny Arcade was shit at the start as well. You don't need that. <laughs> so. Yeah. And that's like the, the natural instinct for people. Even if you bring up like Michael Jordan was bad at this. You can say, well, Michael Jordan never gave up. He just kept shooting. He kept training. He he was waking up early and, you know, you just motivate yourself. And he just uses it as an excuse and not a motivator. Yeah, yeah. Ridiculous. God, that's the chat is so fucking annoying. Now you set him off, Meerkat. ALT, <laughs> ALT, when ALT was in high school, it was called Push the Wheel with a Stick. Uh, that's what basketball was called. <laughs> uh, ALT was the first Olympic wrestler back in 300 B.C. ALT played before the three-point line. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Congratulations. James Naismith. Okay. But Grice, nice creator of basketball, I believe. Possibly. <laughs> Anyways, that's insane to me. This that, that whole statement is just insane, and we're not even done. Only after years of practice and honing their artistic skills did those guys master their own style. He is making this yeah. such a big brain fucking thing when it's just like, dude, you're, this sucks. That's what happens. Dude, this, this thing fucking sucks. And then you, you know what you say back? Fuck you. And you either try to make it better next time or you just give up. You don't write these paragraphs mm -hmm. explaining why you you suck, even though it didn't even suck. But anyways, considering I got about 1,400 <laughs> insults and two compliments... The strip is on hiatus. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Two strips. Two things he created, and the hate was so great, they're on hiatus. <laughs> Oh my god. How how is he getting fourteen hundred insults when there's only forty people on the fucking forum? <laughs> yeah, you know what it means he's not. He got one insult. <laughs> and his ma and Linda and Dave said it's good. That's the two compliments. <laughs> <laughs> DX what? again, big up. This is this is the um the, the, the like, you know, well guys, support's been slow over the last few streams, so I guess, you know, we'll have to consider whether to keep playing this game going forward or whether or yeah. not to, to retire it because you know. You know, support is low and it seems like people were asking for all this and then I gave it to them and now they they they, they they've gone. They're not here. They don't want to support it. So, you know, I need your buy-in. That's yeah, what this I, is. I'm gonna say a big brain, sorry, Sir Moist statement here, but I want to get your take on this. Mm -hmm. Is it possibly Phil is not greedy for money. He is, however, desperate for acceptance. And he has made receiving money mean acceptance. And that is why he is like he is today. Any truth to that, you think? Because I think we're seeing a, 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 the most un unconfident person I've ever seen in my life, right? The most insecure person we've ever seen in our life. So is it now... That it's not about the money. Wow, I got so much. It, it's not like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm getting so much money. I have, I'm so rich now. It's like, this yeah. is how much people like me. You know what I mean? Money I think there's something to that. Thumbs up. Like, yeah. yeah. You um, know? It's possible, yeah. Because, I mean, again, all this is based on, like, conjecture from Phil, what he's written, the things he said, the filter of Phil being a, an unreliable narrator and all that. Yeah. I think I, I'm still of the opinion that for Phil, money is the, the, the key to getting the thing that calms him down and, and makes him feel accepted and warm and reassured. 
you know, money is the thing he needs to do the champions, to do the spending in general, but champions is currently the vector for that. But either way, that is yeah. definitely somebody who, again, it's like I, I can't make a decision and I can't stand by that because I fear the anxiety on, of um, public failure. You know, considering that I, I put up a comic that I dream and wrote myself, I, you know, I came up with these things that I thought were funny, put them up online, and people criticize that. So I'm taking it down and getting, getting rid of it because otherwise it'll carry on and I'll just get more and more embarrassed every time I put up a strip because more and more people will criticize me. So yeah, I'm going like, to take it away. I don't like the public aspect of it. You know, wh- so. <laughs> whether or not it comes back, whether, okay, this is a drunk one. Whether or mm. not it comes, oh shit, that's the form, sorry. Whether or not it comes back or not, okay, whether or not it comes back or not depends upon whether I get feedback saying that the strip should start up again. So go post in the forums or email me or hit me up on MIRC and let me know what you think. God, he's already begging for r- r- oh, feedback. Guidance. Needs it. Got to do it by God. He, he's begging for positive feedback. That's, yeah. that's like, let me know what you think means tell me that it was good so I can make it again. Jesus. Because oh. people obviously at this point told him that it was bad, so he stopped making them. Wow. I love that this has remained consistent as well. You know? Oh, this. yeah. Let me know. Yeah. Tell me what you think. Let me just think. That yeah, meaning, this... tell me good things, not bad things. You know? That, this... when he says, every time he says, tell me what you think, I want to know what you do. You know, I want to know what you guys want. Every time he says that, that's this. It's, it's, it's been here since 2003. Well, Earlier, More than that, look. yeah, God can't cannot have a, a cannot stand on even a game choice. You know what I'm saying? Like, how much lower yeah. can you get in confidence where you can't even choose a game yourself without being like, well, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. You know, you gotta let me know, guys. Uh, uh, Dead School is saying that GTG said said the same thing before. Okay, I wouldn't be surprised if I heard it somewhere else. And uh, Spec says, expand on the theory. Money is a way of gaining the kind of validation you secretly seek. Validation of you as a person. Yes, I think that's you said it much better than me, mm. and that's what it seems to be. But let's keep moving it's on the here. Reassurance, yep. yeah, it's the reassurance aspect of it. It's like, like less than the validation. Validation doesn't matter so much now for Phil because otherwise he would have more friends to, re- to, to to call upon for validation. It's clearly not as important to him as whatever he's getting from champions at the moment. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a keep, question yep. for you guys. Uh, yes. Is there has there ever been a community that actually accepted him? Because like thinking about it, the FGC didn't because he was the villain. Nobody liked him. Yep. The gaming community as a whole, he's he's a joke of that that whole community. Even his own community is just sneak dissing and making fun of him, uh, and that's like taking away the trolls. Most people are just just making a mockery of him, and he desperately wants to fit into something. That's why he bought all those statues of games he barely cares about to pretend he fits into a part of that community. Is there any community that ever accepted him and he felt comfortable in? I mean, I'm trying to think. Like, I was every, 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 let's, let's take it even to like employers, right? He's, he's been chased out of even employers, right? But, and I think every community, that's like, throw away the employers. That's just kind of funny. But it's talking about communities he wants to be a part of. He finds a way to be hated in those communities. Yep. Even Supercard, as you guys are saying in chat, he was he was kicked out of fucking a game on a mobile game that he gave money to. I'm sure when um, when I was doing like looking for clips of him talking about his back, I found a comment or a question, like an answer from Ask the King, one of the early ones where he's talking about like um, getting lifts to certain places with his with his coworkers, and when they decided to stop doing an activity, he stopped as well and. Um, he didn't get why they like moved on or something like that. Uh, yeah, think, it was basically I don't understand why they do it, did it, so I stopped hanging around with them for a bit. And it's like in every sort of community, he's he's been abrasive to the point where he's um, not necessarily aggressive, but he escalates things. You know, uh-huh. he, he he chats shit and and he he sort of like prompts like arguments and things he's not a, a peaceable person he's not somebody who can like easily let conversation flow through posts he has to start a fight he has to start an argument he has to cause friction because he doesn't he's done it on so many of the posts that we've looked at over this it's been like yeah well okay so it's good in ct but these assholes over here or this guy who's an asshole because his marvel vs. capcom 2 machine doesn't work or this guy who's an asshole because he's chasing a photo oh no actually no it's fine to chase a photo in the audience all right it's 
fine. But you know, he's he's constantly like being aggressive and confrontational to people. So even in like like YouTube, when he was, you know, when you could say like he's part of the YouTube community, he was telling Machinima that he didn't want their help and he didn't understand why he needed to do like like crossovers with comp- uh, with other people or work with other people. Yep. So like, yep. even there, he was rejecting people and being abrasive and, you know, starting shit with like, oh, I heard like Alpha Omega Sensei that said this or Tob- Tobuscus ads are on my videos and all that stuff. He kicked off in every community till he's rejected by all of them. So we I don't see- think he has. I really don't it- think he has. For some amazing. reason, obviously we're not there, so we can't see everything, but we saw in the year 2000, someone else said, not DSP, someone else says just to random forum, they're talking about how we're going to get to a, a tournament, right? How we're going to get to a tournament. Mm-hmm. All right, well, let's see who's going to get the ride and stuff. And this person said, why don't people ask DSP for rides? Because DSP was one of the few guys that had a car. So what was the oh, next gotcha. comment? What was the next comment? Uh, probably because he's DSP. That was yeah. it. That's how much he was not liked <laughs> by people. When this is not that, again around this time, around two thousand, yeah. two thousand three. That... DSP was not even in the thread. But it's like, dude, yeah. <laughs> D- probably because he's DSP, so he's not liked, and it's not like it's people bullying because D- for for better or worse, he sticks up for himself. He bullies. He tries to bully people himself. You know what I'm saying? And it's just he. He is clearly an unlikable person by his own actions. It's not by, you know, people just deciding to hate him. You see how he acts. Uh, I have found our finale for tonight because we already went for two hours somehow. And we are going to have multiple, multiple episodes about this. But I do have to do this now because this will kind of put a nice bow on this episode. Would you like to hear, boys? Yeah, just, you got a quick one. Oh, anything yeah, else? Oh, please for, do your uh, points. Yeah. Go ahead. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, for uh, for all the people in chat that are saying that uh, the WWE Champions Guild is where he feels accepted, I would like to remind you that we had a TJ Gamebox on, that being said, and he said that DSP spends the absolute minimum uh, on every event possible. So he doesn't really contribute to that guild in any yes. meaningful way. He just kind oh, of exists yeah, yeah. there for the benefits, I don't know how and I he just spends all the money yeah. that he has to. I don't know and also I to the, the previous point of like he, him giving people rides and stuff, it's uh, there was this, this part when he was driving people around and he was buying the meals, which really came across to me as him trying to buy friends because he was maxing out all these credit cards. He felt kind of like a baller. At that point, mm-hmm. even early YouTube meant when he was making some money off of it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think he just came across as a useful idiot. And some people just took advantage of that and got a free meal or a free ride. And in the back of their heads, it was like what you guys just talked about. It's like, he's DSP. He's going to give me a ride and he's going to give me a meal. And outside of that, we're not really friends. And oh, yeah. that is what some even... people have said T thought about Phil. I'm not saying it's true or yeah. not, but some people have said in the fighting game community... That is what T was relationship was to Phil. Because remember, mm-hmm. T was much older than Phil, but Phil had a car, and uh, that is something that obviously you need if you're going to get tournaments and stuff. Phil even made posts on behalf of T on the AOL News Group saying like, "Hey, oh, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. trying to get I'm to this place. Come on, I'm going to yeah, be yeah. here. T's T's going to be here because I know T was like, "Hey, Phil, can you make a post for me real quick?" And then Phil would of course do it because that's someone that Phil thought liked him. But I wonder how much he did like him. Again, who knows? T might have loved fucking Phil, and I hope that's I hope that's true. But we don't know. Okay, but go ahead, Steve. Yeah, quickly, just before we go, um, to to your point about like him, we've even seen posts where he's like, "Oh, I bought everybody donuts and stuff, dinner." You know? Yes. He, he tr- this is a really narcissistic thing. Of I have provided something for you, you now owe me because you see relationships transactional. Yep. So I've given you something, so you've benefited from the relationship, and now it's my turn. Now you owe me. So for me, it's like not understanding how people become friends through like time and repeated uh, experiences shared together. It's uh, I can buy my way in. I'm, I'm a good guy. Why don't people like me? I give them lifts. I, you know, I buy them pizzas. I, you know, put them up for the night in a hotel or whatever. You know, he, he doesn't understand that that's not how relationships work for most people. He just understands it in transactional stuff. And so it's like, right, I've given you my, I've given you a forum. Go post on it. I've given you comics. Laugh at them. I've given you all this. <laughs> Respect me, you know. It's, yeah. <laughs> Engage with me. Like, how... Yeah. Dude, if you're yeah. writing... Let me tell you... Go ahead, Meerkat. I'll, I'll go point to it. Go ahead. Yeah, I would even say that this might sound silly, but I think video games have made this a lot worse 
because video games work on this technical level where of course there's no feelings it's all just programming yeah. but when you do this when for every action there's a reaction from the video game so let's say you spend this amount of money you get plus respect from this faction and i think this yeah. is even more stunted his development as seeing relationships in this kind of way and yeah. it, it's it's really bizarre but that's that's just how i see it i think here's a very telling thing he did too where in tournament reports he wrote up and he would of course write pages and pages of tournament reports for fucking oh God, yeah. tournaments at the FYE mall you know there's a mall in front of the FYE we're going to play there dudes he will write multiple paragraphs about the part where I, I i bought donuts for everybody it was no big deal but i bought donuts i bought 24 donuts for everybody and passed them out and it was totally cool like just there's no reason to include that in tournament report, but like you said, he wants everyone to know, hey guys, I'm doing this for the community. I'm trying to be, you know, I'm trying to be this cool guy. And again, it's just that kind of trying to buy, not confident in yourself, trying to show, hey, I did this, guys. I did this, guys. I did this, guys. And it just comes off of being very sad. And uh, that was my point. That was my point. Yeah. Um, like tournaments like that, in that probably in that very same tournament, like he'll play a fight with a guy and he'll talk for ages about how it got down to the wire and everybody was chip, it was all chip damage and you all had one character left and the time was running out. And then, like, you, you won by pixels, you know. Yeah. And that guy's probably like, you know, finish it, finish the fight, wins the fight, or oh, turns to Phil, oh, expecting, oh, great fight, mate. You know, whoa, what a fight, what a challenge you put up there, you know, expecting a sort of back and play, Phil. And he gets to, uh, you fucking won by pixels mate that is nothing that is not a victory you know he's being abrasive to somebody and it's like there's your option where you're like i can't be a dick or i could be like oh that was a good fight mate fucking hell what a challenge well done well earned you know yeah that's what we got to figure out is we need someone on here to ask about literal in the trenches playing phil then what was phil like after those matches happened because we do know he was very yeah. quiet we know he was quiet this has been said by jaha it's been said by um, one other person, um, I believe. That, it, d during, okay. the, during the tournaments, he was quiet. It's like Phil is a mouse, right? During the Echo tournaments. Echo Jam would disagree. Uh, that's true, yeah. <laughs> but I want to know, like, <laughs> after the match literally just happened. Because I know there's sometimes when he got hype and he'd be like, East Coast, East Coast. There's some stories of that when he beat Mike Watson. He yelled that at Evo one mm -hmm. time. So I wanted to know how was he at a normal, normal gaming situation where it's not so high stakes and there's not a crowd. Is he a douchebag there, or is he a mouse there? I don't know. But to finish today, uh, someone sent me, you're a legend, David, sent me this. And uh, we are. how would you guys like to see some feedback I don't know from the cosplay article we just read, boys? I some feedback. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> oh, thought, yeah. I With thought you comments. might enjoy that. Uh, there is an, <laughs> an uh, email to the editor, I guess we could say. <gasps> oh. <laughs> so as you can see, there's so much shit here, guys. I want to watch it all. I promise we'll cover this one day, but I'm going to jump to what we got to see here. Where it's a, I want to put it for 11. Here we go. New, new hate mail. <laughs> Let's get to the mail. Oh, Every once in a while, oh someone sent me some email related to the site. Sadly, some people's brains must not be functioning when they come because I've gotten well, yeah, some that's <laughs> clarity, mate. <That's... laughs> I got some real nasty mail in the time of the top haters. The com has been up. So, what does that tell what you, you man? Top what yeah. does that tell you, man? <laughs> <laughs> I've got some people's brains must be messed up because I've got some real evil emails, dude. All right, let me tell you. Uh, everything from you're an asshole to my vomit looks better than your sight. <laughs> Shout outs to you, whoever did that one. Yeah. <laughs> all they, all, all, although both are good points, sometimes I get some emails that are just really off base. Okay, some self deprecating humor from Phil. This is very rare. Very rare. Although both are good points. Sometimes I get some emails that are really off base. Case in point, here's the email I received today while in the middle of a vigorous porno viewing session. Bro, dude, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just, it, I mean, he's trying to be funny, just, but it's I like, just, whatever. It's like, dude, that's not funny. The fucking irony. <laughs> yeah. The fucking irony of that. <laughs> How long is this? I didn't even look. Oh my god, this is absolutely drunk side Phil, by the way. This I've is an seen... episode in itself. <laughs> oh, okay, no, it's right to here. Okay, we'll read this one, then we'll be done. Okay, we'll read this and be done. Good. Apparently, the spry young man read my cosplay article and felt inclined to comment on something I said. Apparent, uh, blah, blah, blah. uh, well, regarding this comment, this is unfortunate because if she were not a total loser, this girl would actually be a top piece of ass. Uh, 
Will I? Okay, here we go. Is this a mail from him? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I really doubt that any girl would even contemplate sleeping with you, as you are probably one of those extremely ugly guys who cosplay, and you only have made this site so to fool yourself. Plus, you really do sound like a real wanker. Anyway, oh, wanker, big ups, British style. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, can I point out, though, um, in the in this paragraph that you've just highlighted, yes. could you please deselect it because uh, several words are highlighted in yellow? Oh, excuse me, yes. But these are from yeah. the... the <laughs> This is okay. So this person and I don't know why wanker is so because this, wanker is correct. I, yeah. So th- <laughs> this is Phil's doing of trying to show the misspellings of this gentleman. Uh, All right. This is what uh, he's doing this for. So he got an email. And now he's showing us how stupid this guy is from his grammar. Uh, so, anyways, uh, well, all, all, uh, all in all, uh, all in all good, in fun. good fun. fun. Now it's my turn to reply. Oh, th- he, he doxed the dude. Oh, he doxed the dude. I'm also oh, doxing the dude. I apologize. Hopefully, you don't have that email, dude. <laughs> Wait, who who is calling who a wanker? Uh, uh, this okay. Guy, this is Nathan this is yeah. Phil. This is all. But, this is all what the guy said. Okay. The the, yeah. the top part is what but, Phil said in the article. This is what the guy but said. The DSP just admitted that he received this email as he was jerking off. So he is quite literally a wanker. He just admitted <laughs> oh, it. Shit, yeah. Didn't realize? His yeah. email I received today while in the vigorous respond review session. Yeah. I don't think he probably knows what wanker means. I jumped immediate to Derek and yeah. <laughs> what? Oh my God! Can you imagine? Possibly, the, if that was Derek, the, this internet explodes. If we found a well, Derek no, email the on the site, it. I thought, <laughs> yeah. I, I thought like the irony of like Phil criticizing someone for watching too much porn, and 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 while Derek is now, you know, like how that would have aged. But yeah, yeah, yeah it it reads as he's watching porn and he got that email. Okay, all in good fun. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. okay. Well, all in all, in good fun. Now it's my turn to reply. I thought about what you said for a long time. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. But Mr. Nathan Cox, doc, total dox, total dox. Just that's a yeah. douchebag dox, hey, by the way. Zero reason for that. that. <laughs> that's a douchebag mm-hmm. dox. Yeah. Okay, cool. And you know what? I agree with you. I really, really doubt that any girl would ever contemplate sleeping with me either, trying to make fun of the spelling. <laughs> it's Yeah, yeah, trying to make contemplate hey. sleeping. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Phil. <laughs> oh, Steve, you're going to like what's Go coming on, yeah. up. All right, yeah, let's yeah. just get there yeah. first. <laughs> and I'm really, I'm really glad because if a girl ever said she was contemplating sleeping with me, it would probably mean she has a hideously discolored jaw or ridiculously bug big front teeth. And I would smack her hillbilly ass all the way back to Mississippi so she could fuck her uncle some more. Big <laughs> jo- great joke. Great joke. Uh, making fun of the misspellings. Something that this guy, this yeah, this is the guy who was like uh, fucking your mother. Ooh. Although oh, yeah. if your mum is hot, you might feel different. <laughs> yes, <laughs> never forget. He said, "If she's hot, you might think differently." Okay, so let's keep moving on. That is, of course, unless she had a hot body, then I'd cover her face with an issue of Game Pro magazine and fuck her right in the poop shoot. Hey. Hey, what do you know? Oh, nice. That mag is good for something. Mm-hmm. So we get our second poop shoot of the day. Didn't expect to see any poop shoots, but here we are. Now, as far as for your accusations <laughs> about cosplaying. Okay, let's keep in mind this okay. dude yeah. probably wrote yeah. this much to Phil. And Phil is I writing have, all I this, like but he doesn't care. So much I could expand upon, but come on. <laughs> <laughs> as for your accusation about cosplay, let me tell you a little about myself. I'm six feet tall and weigh about... 195 pounds. I'm built, but out of shape. I used to lift weights. <laughs> <laughs> I'm built, but I'm not. Anyways. <laughs> this next match is for the WWE Intercontinental title. Heading to the ring. He's six foot tall and weighing 195 pounds. The weightlifter, Dark Side Phil. Yeah, the built, but out of shape, Dark Side <laughs> Phil. Yeah. <laughs> I used to body build. Oh down to where, oh where. God. <laughs> I, have, I have been con- complimented by many at tournaments on the way I dress. I cannot yeah. push an X any harder. <laughs> I cannot push it any harder. <laughs> Holy shit, I've never felt more strongly. I've never felt more strongly. Oh, Hit it. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. All those 14 year olds, bro, they love that drip. <laughs> We've seen the drip too. It's not like it's typical, <laughs> <Yeah>. you know, <laughs> jeans and t-shirt. I've been complimented by many at tournaments on the way I dress. 
Oh, are, a lot of people wonder where I get my shirts and scullies from. Oh, All I can say is... <laughs> you have got to be shitting me. Okay. Read it. All Play I it. can say is that I have an undeniably badass taste in clothing, boys. <laughs> <laughs> undeniably. Chat, please. Undeniably. More exes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Undeniably, when the 14 year old chicks see this skull shirt, they drop the drawers, bro. That's before <laughs> I fucked the Great Dane next door. My skullies <laughs> makes them wet. <laughs> the only person who said otherwise. <laughs> The only person who said otherwise was a guy named Big Dave, but he's a fag anyway, and he looks like Urkel, <laughs> so he's not one to talk. <laughs> I can't. I'm not going to survive. Big I Dave, am not going to survive, dude. What the fuck? I'm checking this Urkel link, by the way, to make sure if it's not. Uh, I believe. Oh, it, the link says BigDave.jpg. So I'm guessing that was an Urkel. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're gonna that be pulling right... Big Dave soon. <laughs> Make that part. Yeah, Big Dave. <laughs> That's gonna be another name. Big Dave JPEG. I gotta ask Taco Chan her husband's name. If it's Dave, I'm done. <laughs> but, but, I have never, ever, ever dressed up in cosplay, huge. That's and huge I never. Ever. And I never will. Oh, how young Phil, you don't know what you'll do to, for money in the future. I am a <laughs> heterosexual. <laughs> Not some slimy fat fuck who smells like a sweating nutsack and has pieces of old donuts stuck in the stubble of a beard. I'm not some cross-dressing <laughs> closet case bisexual who thinks Holy that... Holy Whoa. It's okay to dress up like a female anime character as long as it's all in good fun. Strong ally. Why is he so mad about this dude? Why is he so pissed off? <laughs> the dude's comment, let I remind you, was uh, I really doubt that any girl would ever contemplate sleeping with you as you're probably one of those extremely ugly guys who cosplay and only have made this site to fool yourself. Plus, you really do sound like a real wanker. That's the, that's the legit, that's the level. That's what I think. You're on, on top of haters, you know, where you come for the hate. It's just a joke at the end of the day. Don't take it too seriously. <laughs> no, definitely don't take it too seriously. All right, here we go. And one thing I'm definitely not is some moronic internet critic with a British accent who is so fucking stupid. <laughs> That's, yeah, he's talking about you. <laughs> it's so <laughs> very <laughs> dare you, Philip. <laughs> who is so fucking stupid. It's very insulting <laughs> to Sam. He can't it's even type a hate himself. mail. Utilizing the skills of fourth grade spelling. You yeah, are. Phil, 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 we don't have grades like that here. We don't have. Uh, you are, in your own <laughs> words, extremely retarded. Wanker? Wow. Do you really think I'm a wanker? What the oh, fuck is that brief. supposed to mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't know, know what it means. Dude called it he in 2004. <laughs> He's just ready one. He doesn't know what wanker means at all. You said, oh. do you think I'm a wanker? What does that even mean? Who says that? <laughs> <laughs> you call me a wanker? What does that mean, though? <laughs> oh, oh I know. <laughs> the, the oh, next my God. Oh, I know. <laughs> it means I'm American and you're not. So I fucking own you. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Sam get <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Sam oh, dude, and Steve get fucked, years later, bro. He literally jerks off on camera. He's literally a wanker. Uh, yes. He's, he's and no he way. owns you. He owns. And he can't even find it in the bully quiz minigame. Dude, he owns <laughs> you. you. Steve and Sam are owned, man. That's incredible. I guess I own you guys too. Awesome. All right, let's go. <laughs> I did nothing wrong. That's a good point in chat. <laughs> I thought he was Italian. Yeah, no, 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 no. He's American. He's American. You're not. That's why you get fucking owned, dude. All right. I wish I knew if you lived in Britain or Australia or another one of those asinine places. <laughs> okay. So I could just run up to your front door, kick it down, run up into your room, and shit right in your mouth. Why the shit? Oh, scat. Why? <laughs> I've got well, a he said you're supposed to grow out of this at the age of, like, three. 
<laughs> oh my god. I've got a few Lincoln Logs saved up just for you, the fuck's buddy. What's a Lincoln Log? Lincoln Log is a toy that's made of wood. <laughs> so it's like a log. It's like a joke of a log of shit. So anyways, it, it, just don't oh think too god. deeply about it. It's his elementary level humor. Uh, I've we got a few Lincoln Logs wood. saved up just for you, buddy. So come on and get them while they're still hot. What the fuck took you so long to find my cosplay article anyway? It's been... <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this cannot be real. Dude, what the <laughs> fuck? That if I was gonna get in trouble for it on Twitch, I would have been in trouble for it already. So clearly, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Why am I getting punished for it now? Yeah, that's like what in text? This is in articles on a website. What took you so long to find my cosplay article? You mean you weren't there for the premiere of it? On topaters.com. What? <laughs> what the How fuck? How dare you? Nathan Cox, man, you're a fucking legend. <laughs> no matter where you are, you get you'll you'll be a name we won't forget. But anyways, sorry you had to take this, but as you must never recover. I mean, this is such a beatdown. <laughs> this is uh, so funny. <laughs> I'll have to look in the NHS to see if they've ever treated a Nathan Cox. <laughs> he like committed suicide. <laughs> committed suicide after burns. This. Yeah. <laughs> it's been written since November. So that means it took you one, two, five months to fucking read it? A bit slow, are you? Dude. <laughs> That's not a fucking insult, dude. What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> A bit slow from the man who doesn't know what wanker means. Dude, that's his obsession yeah. with time. I mean, damn. It, he didn't get your website fast enough? This is the level yeah. you have to go to find a fucking burn? It's instant. It's always instant gratification for him. It has to happen now, otherwise it doesn't matter. It right, doesn't next, plan ahead. So I'll tell you this. Things next, that happened previously don't matter. The next time we get a comment on our videos from like the first few episodes on YouTube, I'll be like, <laughs> hey. What took you so long to comment, douchebag? What took you so long? <laughs> we streamed it like five months ago. Yeah, a bit slow, are you? <laughs> Congratulations, congratulations, Nathan Cox. You've won the first ever TopHaters.com Sphincter of the Month Award. <laughs> now, next time, you want to tell me all Go about ahead. your opinions. Go ahead. Can you right click and see what the name of that JPEG is? That broken Sure, link? yes, I can. <laughs> it is. So I see it's like uh, NathanCox.jpg. It's NathanCox.jpg. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that is not a lie. You can check it. I promise. I'm put, posting a chat so you know I'm not lying. That is it. I am not lying. I am not lying for comedic effect. <laughs> that is legit the link. <laughs> now, next time you want to tell me all about your opinion, oh, misspelling opinions, of course. Opinions, please keep your opinions to opinions. yourself because your opinions don't mean shit here, bitch. That's all for now, you dicks. DSP. Do you remember the disclaimer we had at the start? Yeah, that was that disclaimer went by the wayside <laughs> fast. If you say one fucking thing against them, you're out, man. You get the shit, Lincoln Logs, and oh, you get should, owned. We should, we should have a spec sphincter of the month award. Oh, yeah, that'd be we'll good. Give it to chat. <laughs> yeah. uh, King Jad's here. We'll give it to him. King Jad, you're the no, sphincter. No, 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 no. I think because, like, uh, Indrid was the first member. She should have the first sphincter. Oh, that's a good idea. Good sphincter of the award to Indrid Cole. Thank you so much. But what a trip it's been. The good news is well, we're not even halfway done this bitch, my friend. So, oh, Jesus. Um, I didn't expect it to be this awesome. I always say that, but it always fucking is. And, uh... We got way more pages of this site to go through, which we will definitely absolutely do. Uh, thanks mm. so much, everybody who helped me uh, share with links with me and stuff. <clears throat> you guys make the site, this show cool because it would not be cool. I can't find all this shit myself. So you guys awesome help me. And uh, it means a lot, guys. And thanks so much for all the support and everything like that, guys. You guys are incredible. Didn't make, can get to Hogan. We'll get there someday. Uh, but last words, please. I know, Mirka, you've been streaming earlier. What are your final words on the day? Yeah, this was uh, this was great, man. We 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 found out so much shit. But right now, I think there there might be some fourteen year olds outside. So I'm I'm gonna step out for a little bit. I'll I'll see you guys around. <laughs> Steve, you you uh, the person I own because I'm from America and you're from Britain. Uh, what are your last comments? <laughs> you're all wankers. Um, <laughs> What's that even? If mean? you don't know what that is, what you need to know is right. 
back in a couple of thousand years ago, God created Adam and Eve. Um... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, poor Sam. I'm going to have to update yes. him on how, how badly owned we've been. Oh, yes. You guys never live it down. But uh, next stream, who knows? Tomorrow we're doing something, of course. I got to keep it going, the street going. But I'll do something. Probably flare up mu music show, but we'll see. But you're all legends. Thanks so much, everybody. And we'll see you on the next one. I think the word to remember, though, is anyone live now? I want to send you somewhere. But the, the, the thing to spam in the chat of the person we're going to invade will be who's live? Anybody? Probably not, right? Kind of the golden time when no one's on. Mm. Ann Lee's on. Sweet. Oh, uh, yeah. Sweet. Ann Lee is on. So I will give you DSP's the word. Neighbors, great Dane gets my vote. Yeah. Oh, yep. Perfect. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Hang on. Let me get to the redirect ready. And you guys get ready with this message. I'll write it to make it easier. <laughs> DSP's <clears throat> neighbors. <laughs> Big Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Big Dave. That's good too. Oh, do you know what the word? Yeah, you can say Big is? Dave sent you. It's like yeah, Bill yeah, is a heterosexual yeah. guy. Do you want to know who's going to give you the most objective review of how you look? A gay what? guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got it. Uh, okay, here we go. Big Dave's Great Dane. That works too. A little bit not ca cano canonical though. We yeah, need to keep it the yeah, lore. It's a mixture. We don't know if Bill's <laughs> neighbor was Big Dave or not. Yes, so. yes. All right, yeah. we're out of here. You guys are legends. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>